<laughs> Hi everyone! Hi Marty! Hi Horizon! <gasps> Lytics, what's the, what's the good kind of trouble? I hope it is good. <laughs> and hi Mattel! Hi Violet! And thank you for the lurk, Violet. Um, hi Red! Hi Red! Hi Silver Wolf! Hi Lone Wolf! And El Guardito, I love that you say you're on time when I was egregiously late. <laughs> Um, I do apologize for being a little late. Um, my webcam just like stopped working for a second and I was like, oh, <laughs> and so I had to figure out why I wasn't connecting. Um, but, but we're good. We recovered. We're here. <laughs> How did the two go last night? I didn't, didn't finish the other two. <laughs> no, we only got through the, uh, gotcha tier list. Um, but it was so much fun. I honestly, I think that was one of my favorite streams that I've done so far. Like it was such a trip down memory lane, um, thinking of some of my older gotchas and, um, I don't know. I got really emotional a couple times thinking about some of the, um, you know, some of my favorite games and I was like, ah, and it was just fun to share it with you guys. Um, and Marty, I saw that you can't believe that, um, Okay, in fact, third made it to the top. No, it, it went beyond top. I was like, guys, it needs its own category. It has its own level because it goes beyond first place. <laughs> and hi, Broggy, how are you? I forget the other list, so each take a few streams. No, no, I'm determined. I can finish both of those in one stream. I can do it. <laughs> we'd have to, um, we'd have to double time it. I would need to have like a yap bonk or something like that. <laughs> I have such strong feelings on Honkai Big 3. Me too. Like, me too. Um, it's so funny because, like, you know, I know that it's not technically just, like, the best game out there. Like, it has its flaws. And, <laughs> you know, I'm sure, Marty, you played since launch. But, like, early Honkai days were, like, a little rough. But at its core, this game is just such a beautiful story. And... I think the message that it sends is really what always gets to me, um, you know, because at the end of the day, I think actually you said it, Marty, really beautifully in a tweet that I forgot to reply to, <laughs> but it's always a story about how love is always stronger than anything else, and I just love that so much, and I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry right now. <laughs> But it's just such a beautiful message and a beautiful story and for, you know, everything this game is, I think it will always mean so much to me because of that. You started for Asuka? <gasps> Wait, really? I so pegged you as a day one player. <laughs> Time to lurk tonight. Have a lot of work. Okay, Kusi. Thank you for stopping in. Good luck with your work. Go fight win. <gasps> and Silverwolf, thank you. 
Thank you, thank you. Let me. Aw, oh, fuck yeah. Um. Save image. Hi, Airlocker. How are you? Let's see. Where did that go? Where did that go? Oh my gosh. <laughs> There it is. Excellent choice, Silver Wolf. Excellent fucking choice. I'm just gonna put her right there. You know what's crazy is I just realized um, our um, our colors match really, really well. <laughs> Was that on purpose? Absolutely not. But you know what? I can claim it. I can claim it right now. <laughs> Look, we matchy matchy, matchy matchy. Ah. Um. Also, not to not to be that guy, but um, well, actually, this is um her shirt of origin, not not her shirt of thunder. Um, <laughs> yeah, I had a friend who drew Hongai and Bekti. Also, kind of got interested. Um, plus, I was wanting to learn more about the Hoyaverse because I was a Genshin Day One player. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, that's incredible that you fell that hard. I also got a commission draw sticker full minute May in like 2019 and remember that for a while. <laughs> Damn, and now like you. <laughs> yeah, um, so Silver Wolf, this is actually a history of origin May, not her share of thunder. I can show you her share of thunder um, when uh, we get into the game and I can show you her um, all the different versions of May. I started Ikusakai Slow Life in Victory Bells. Ikusakai is alright. BB, I'm gonna need to read the wiki to appreciate it. <laughs> oh my goodness. But I'm so happy you even tried it. Um, yeah, like I said, Ikusakai is definitely like, you know, it's not for everyone. It's not. <laughs> like, you, you gotta be into like the idol and the grind, you know? Now I'm the patron saint of commenting on all kind of like their Twitch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, we need someone to do it. We need someone to do it. <gasps> and hi, Nekovior. How are you? It is Honkai night. I'm so fucking excited. Wispy! Hi, baby! How are you? Um, how are you? How are you? They throw family at you. Got my second living within an hour. <laughs> yeah. You'll, um, you get a lot up front. Um, you get a lot of family and fellows up front. It's the really, really cool ones that you gotta grind for, though. <laughs> like, today, actually, no, it was last night, because I was playing right before bed. I just got this fella named Enna, um, and I posted about her in Discord on, um, the other games channel. Um, but she's a real cutie. I've been wanting her for a while. She's, like, the ultimate chuny type. <laughs> She's so fucking cute. She even does like chuny pose with the like, um, you know, the like hand over eye, other hand out. <laughs> uh, Asya Han, how are you? It's so funny, Wispy, because I can just read that in your voice. I'm doing so well. Thank you. I hope you guys are all doing super, super well today, too. Um, it's only a fucking Tuesday, though. <laughs> I've had um, such a busy couple days at um, work that it's, I felt like it's been a whole week. <laughs> um, hands up, this is a reverse mug, a reverse mugging. What does that even mean? <laughs> um, I'm very tired but living. Oh, yeah, I bet you're so tired because of the, um, um, <gasps> damn, Marty, thank you. Oh my gosh, Mustang, thank you so much for gifting. <gasps> thank you guys. Oh my gosh, Wispy, thank you for the cheer. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Um, well, oh my gosh, thank you guys. <laughs> um, but Wispy also is currently doing a um, subathon and um, she's absolutely killing it she's so fun um go support a homie she's amazing um genuinely if you like me you will like her <laughs> reverse mugging successful thank you mustang oh, thank you guys you guys are so sweet oh my gosh oh my gosh um 
but seriously, have you never heard of that before? I haven't, actually. <laughs> I haven't. I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> um, as you know, I will just share one single high mind of a chat and convince all that Auntie is a true wife. Well, she um, absolutely is. Like, um, like there is there's only one. <laughs> there's only one, and it's her. And it's her. <laughs> Oh my goodness, must be did you see the um the the uh trailer that they dropped for the sixth anniversary stream and that beautiful intro shot of NT just kind of like rolling around? <laughs> it's peak, it's incredible, it's everything. Um and I think I saw the very first one. I was like, it's my girls. Yeah, Jersey and NT. And they spoke with English, English VAs. I, I was gagged. They sounded so good. Um, prepares to be disappointed for the anniversary. Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> I'm actually going to stream a watch along of the anniversary. Um, and I hope it's going to be good. <laughs> Live react of, <laughs> of anniversary details. Um, I hope it's more than them just announcing merch. Um, I, I was told by some, um, some of my Azulane, Azulane boys that they don't think there's gonna be a UR announcement, which, um, makes, makes me sad. Um, you know. Um, <laughs> uh, cause yeah, I agree. The last two years have been kind of lackluster because we haven't really gotten, like, you know, like, really cool like gameplay announcements it's just kind of been like yay anniversary yay merch <laughs> which like um granted the merch is always really cool last year's merch went super hard um but yeah i do kind of wish it was a little a little, a little cooler <laughs> Give me one of the Iowa girls. Okay, so hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. I I have my tinfoil hat on. So you know how so far all the promo material for the anniversary has been like Wild West America themed? I have a feeling they're gonna um, have some kind of USA or <coughs> pardon me, Eagle Union. Um, some kind of eagle union something that's coming our way whether it's just like you know more especially since like nt and new jersey were the like poster girls this year like i'm just i just think something something eagle union based is coming whether it's you know like eagle union based merch or maybe an event um or <coughs> iowa <laughs> eagle union stop too poor to afford an E. Um, I would love for them to go back to the Road Trip 66 theme that they had back in the day with NT and Cleave Bros. And skins. Me too! Like, I wish I completed the tour. I was a fever tree. We both don't, don't, don't take this away from me. <laughs> I, I've been playing this game for six goddamn years just for dreams of Iowa. <laughs> don't take this away from me. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so come, <clears throat> come join me this Saturday at, um, I'll be starting stream at around 11.30 a.m. Um, Pacific time, my time, um, so that we can all be like locked in and yapped out before the stream starts at 12 noon, high noon. <laughs> um, so come, come join me. I think... I think I can stream it. <laughs> I, I, I think I can stream it as long as I put my little face in the corner and make it transformative enough. But <laughs> watch this be the first strike on my channel. Um, but um, yeah, come come join me Saturday and we'll watch it together and live react to all the exciting or disappointing news. <laughs> <laughs> you should be fine as your previous ones were perfect <laughs> i figured because they're usually um i think pretty generous with that kind of thing and, um yeah and i'm sad that you have to go back to work on saturday though Boo. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, I like when I was making the decision to stream it this weekend, I double, triple, quadruple checked um, the time and day for it because I was so paranoid about getting it wrong. And there would be nothing as embarrassing as setting up for a live stream react and then it being the wrong time. You know? Can you imagine just sitting there with the channel open and being like, huh, it's crazy that it's not starting. <laughs> I live in fear. <laughs> um, I hope you can make it, Lone Wolf. And Mustang, no, no, you're perfect too. But um, anyway, anyway, enough of Ozzy Lane. Tonight, tonight, dun, 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 Tonight, um, we are going back to one of my favorite games ever. Um, <laughs> Snake, thank you so much for the hug, Nessica. Um, But we're going back to one of my favorite, favorite games. My favorite game, um, Honkai Impact 3rd. And um, I'm going to start part two. I really have always wanted to stream more of um, this game for you guys. And I figure starting you guys out with part two would be a really fun way to do it because I've heard <laughs> that part two is a good entry point for some people. Um, like obviously you would get all of the story by playing part one, but I have heard that part two is, you know, at least accessible enough if you haven't played part one that you can at least enjoy it and follow along um, in, in my grand campaign to make everyone download Honkai Impact 3rd greatest game ever <laughs> maybe you'll be left with enough questions that you will go download and play part one um, yeah so I'm just gonna you know do some do some little daily things and show off a couple right in maze maybe um, <laughs> And then we're going to get into it. Um, and I don't super know how the first chapter of part two is structured. Sponsor. <laughs> Sponsor, please. <laughs> um, but I'm not super sure how for the first chapter of part one. or Oh, my gosh. Part one of chap uh, part two <laughs> is structured. Um, but usually how it is is um, every main chapter of the story is broken into three sections and they release each section at a time um and so i'm hoping that uh we can get through all of section one of chapter one tonight but uh we'll see how far we get <laughs> they can sometimes be pretty beefy and seeing as this is an intro into a whole new part um who knows <laughs> who knows <laughs> And also, Simon, you're tempted to never download it just to be contrarian. Ha! <laughs> no! Zodiac, thank you so, so much for the gifted sub. There are three acts. Each one is about two hours on autoplay. Just be aware. Perfect. 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 I feel like that um, tracks with... Um, tracks with everything else to be a part two you have to be at level 30 oh that's right that's right um but i figure it would be a good intro to um you know <laughs> to the stream the stream community even if um even if they don't actually play it it's much better starting in here than starting at like <laughs> um let's see yeah when i um when i first started streaming I want to say, where was main campaign? I want to say it was like right around when the last main chapters of part one were, <laughs> were getting released. And so I was like, well, I can't just start at the end. People won't know what's going on. And when I'm sitting here fucking sobbing, <laughs> they won't understand why I cry every time the capo comes on on my shuffle. <laughs> It's roughly equivalent to what to expect for a story release in every other major mahal you gain is about six hours story for main story update. Perfect! Thank you so much, Marty. Um, and for everyone in chat, my local, my local Honkai Impact third hero resident uh, should be sponsored. <laughs> um, Marty PCSR. Uh, Y'all should go follow him. He's an amazing artist, um, amazing player, knows the lore, um, and is just a very, very cool dude. 
<laughs> Wait, let me do the, let me do the, let me do the thing. I can do the thing. I know how to do the thing. Um, oh my God, Savior, stop! Wait, she models. I was typing. <laughs> Thank you for giving Marty a shout out. Hi, Drifter. You should be able to finish part one of the chapter today, so it didn't take me too long. Awesome. But little did you remember that I am a yapper. <laughs> I'm a yapper. But let's go. Yeah. Um, bonk, redeem. I'm going to need one. <laughs> If I ever want to get through literally anything ever on stream, I'm going to start to need... Oh, that was so loud. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, how's the volume on your end? I don't know if she just, just flavor blasts in my ears or not, but um, hopefully that didn't flavor blast your ears that well. <gasps> Volume's perfect. Oh, killed it. Thank you. Killed it. Thank you. Okay, I need to adjust my my chat box. She's a little too a little too a little too big. I can't read chat. Okay, there we go. It's also part two prologue. Oh, I actually already played that. Um, I wasn't sure what it was going to entail. Um, and I so I played that um just to see what it was, and I think it'll be okay if um people don't get it because it was just kind of an intro into a couple of the new characters. And I really what I thought it was is it was I thought it was the devs being like, don't worry, the main cast isn't gonna go away. <laughs> um Oh great ground, thank you so much for the hydrate. All I know is I'm tired, so if I stop responding I pass out, but till then spin the win. <laughs> thank you, Mustang. Um same character and same love Yes, Drifter! That I knew what I liked you. Have I pulled on the current supply? <laughs> Have I pulled on the current supply? <laughs> yeah! So obviously I haven't um, met her in the story yet, but from what I've seen, yes. I She, she seems like she's going to be exactly my type. Um, and so I was like, I'm not going to let this opportunity <laughs> Like, um, cause what I've seen from the, like, um, what you call it, the, you know, promo material that they posted on Twitter, um, cause I haven't even watched the little, like, summer anime that they dropped, um, she seems like a Genki blonde that's really beautiful, who has some kind of, some kind of secret she's keeping from us, um, and so I'm like, <laughs> my, my type... Oh, that's not what I wanted. <sighs> oh, appreciation mode. There it is. I have to admit, I'm still getting used to the new UI. <laughs> it's been out for so long, and I still feel like such a boomer. Like, sometimes I'm just like, where, where did this dang button go? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, that's saying here's a zoom for you. She does have really, really pretty eyes, doesn't she? I am really, really into her design. I think it's so cool. Um, it's so, so detailed, so lovely. Um, she just has a lot going on for her, and I think she's pretty cool. I think she's pretty cool. Like, wow. Um, is it hide? No. No, is it back? Okay, it's just back. <laughs> uh, did you roll for Thelma? Is it because of midriff? No, it's because hot. Um, because you know, we you know we talked about it last night. What my types were, and my types are essentially. It's okay. So is it Songkyu or Songchu? But Songkyu and Thelma are probably my two types condensed. Um. <laughs> She's fantastic, isn't it? Isn't she? Song Hume's battle suit design had to grow on me. Really? I see when it dropped, I loved it. Um, I know it's not her like base outfit that's in because I think her astral P that I don't have is her like normal outfit, right? Right, right, right. Um. 
with the old UI, you could have done Asuka's tutorial, but when the UI changed, you couldn't access Asuka's tutorial anymore. <gasps> really? I didn't even try. Um, but yeah. Also, I <laughs> I'm so bad at using the as the, the astral op. I like don't understand it. I don't know if it's because I haven't gone through the tutorial. <laughs> whatever the new mode is but i'm so bad at it so we're just not gonna judge gameplay tonight okay 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 actually i, I need you guys i need you guys i need you guys <laughs> i need you guys to look me dead in the eye i need you i need you to look me dead in the eye and we're just all gonna collectively agree that we're just not gonna judge astria's gameplay tonight okay i've been out of the game i've been out of the game a little bit of keeping up with this and i just want you to understand <laughs> I'm a little rusty, um, so we're not gonna judge gameplay. We're just here for vibes. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> Are we in agreement? <laughs> um, <gasps> Neko! Hi, Neko Bun! How are you? <gasps> oh my goodness. I hope you're having a good night. Um, also, I might recommend to play part two in Chinese because the voice direction is more emotionally raw and CN, but it's up to you. Ooh. <sighs> I'll probably leave it in JP um, because I have played this entire game in JP. There's been a couple chapters I've gone back to play in CN um, because I've heard the voice direction is so good and, and correct. <laughs> Absolutely correct. Like, I replayed um, all of Alicia's chapters in CN just because their voice acting during that arc is incredible um, but I'll probably leave it in JP just because that's the one I normally play in but thank you so much for the recommendation <laughs> thank you so much I'll be having a wonderful evening I am I'm here with you guys playing my favorite game <laughs> and Andre hi yes Honkai contact is contact content is back baby <laughs> We are back, baby. Uh, yeah, let me just do a little, do a little, do a little daily, daily bits. I love the new quick dispatch. Like, thank, thank goodness they finally added that. Only took a million and five years. You guys want to see my dorm? <laughs> you guys want to see my dorm? Um, I haven't changed it since I want to say last. <laughs> <laughs> New Year when I decorated it to match the match the vibe. Miss GPV had COVID when recording Elysium Everlasting, so another reason to do CM voice. Really? That's fascinating. Is that why she was kind of like um rougher then? Wow. I think the GP is still a good performance. It's all good. You'll definitely know which scenes to go back to check when you reach them. Hell yeah. I thought you would just stream other gacha games. I can do both. <laughs> I can, I can do both. I can do both. I can do all gotcha games. Surprise, motherfucker. I can do all gotcha games. <laughs> Another great reason that you should play Honkai Impact 3rd is that once you reach um, a certain, certain level of proficiency on these, you can just quickly do all your dailies. Look at that one click done. No sitting through an auto battle. No mindlessly grinding. One click done. <laughs> one click done. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> Um, also, I am so into this current, um, uh, battle pass. I'm so happy they're rerunning, um, Alicia because I'm so close to having her, um, at SS, 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 my queen. Um, and everyone who is, you know, maybe newer to this game or me talking about this game, this is the pink haired woman I'm always screaming about. Uh, this is Alicia in her Hersher form. It's beautiful. Um, she's wearing a really pretty skin though. Her default skin is also lovely. She is a goddess, a queen. She is everything. <laughs> Um, she's probably one of my most used units. I love her so much, um, cause she's 
incredibly strong, really fun to play, and beautiful. And beautiful. She has um, another version, her like normal... Where, where is she? I thought she was over here. Am I blind? There's Alicia! Um, oh, did she get on favorited? Bitch. Oh my gosh. No, I think I put her blue outfit on. And so she probably has blue hair and I can't see her. There we go. <laughs> I was like, where is she? She was just blue. Um, So this is, well, this is her no normal version. Look at her. Stunning. Stunning. Stunning, isn't she? Um, her favorite normal outfit of mine is actually her maid outfit. <laughs> it's actually her maid outfit. Um, it's just so cute and girly and like frilly. And when you first see this in the uh, main campaign, it's just, it's so fucking funny. Like I cannot tell you how hard I laughed when she first showed up wearing this. Um, <laughs> It was incredible. Um, and also when you play with this outfit on, her ultimate gets a really cute um, alt effect on it. But yeah, so we asked Alicia. You can't recognize Alicia in blue hair sag. No, I just forgot that I changed it. And so I was like quickly looking for pink hair and I was like, where is she? Where is she? But she was blue. She was just a blue bab. Um, oh my gosh, guys. I'm actually kind of nervous. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> um. <laughs> also, don't look at this. I, I ignored um, Shikshul HQ for so long. Just don't look at it. I know. I know it's slow. <laughs> just don't look at it. Um, is this the first on Guy Impact 3 story stream? It is! It is! Um, I streamed, um, one of the more event-heavy, or, uh, story-heavy events prior. The, um, <laughs> the one when, uh, Fuha's, um, spicy chicken form dropped. I streamed that event, um, but I don't think I actually finished it on stream, come to think of it. But yeah, this is the first time streaming um, the actual, actual factual, actual factual game. Um, I'm so excited. I'm, excited. <laughs> I'm actually so scared, though. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you just did the event story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really fun, though, because it was kind of like a cute... A cute way to intro the game to you guys. Hopefully she won't start singing. I'm blue. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this, the moon's origin and finality, is all of part one. So there's a lot of chapters to it. But damn, if this isn't just some of the best storytelling in a game you'll ever see. <sighs> Let's see here. Where did I cry? I cried on this one. I cried on that one. I don't think I cried. No, I cried there. <laughs> um, I cried here. Cried there. Definitely cried there. Also cried there. Did cry there. <laughs> Super cried throughout all of this. Um, to the flawless. Uh, on my on my knees crying. The ending also crying. Um, I might not have cried on the first time around on some of the early chapters we did on replays. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I'm just such a sap. <laughs> and then, um, this is what's known as part one and a half. <laughs> and it was kind of some like interlude chapters that, um, kind of closed out some of the other characters that weren't the main trio. And it was just really lovely. Bro. <laughs> Bro, this scene, this fucking just blue, this blue sky scene, I was weeping, sobbing, tears falling down my face. I was so unwell. I thought this was going to be like a cute little, cute little thing. I was unprepared. I was unprepared for how emotional I got at the end of um, 40 to 41. Um, 
Hi, Nate Senpai. Hi, Lil Chief. Hi, hi, you guys. Um, oh my God, Savior, stop. I can't think of DeCapo like that. I'm going to cry. <laughs> um, if you if you haven't noticed, I I am such a big sap and I will probably cry at some point during tonight's stream. Um, crying for what? This game, this story. <laughs> um actually yeah marty i loved 1.52 like at first i thought um that was like a little slow i wasn't really sure where we were going with it we were over here i was just kind of like okay you know we're doing we're doing some things um but the way it slowly built up to where it was going and then the way it wrapped out um and really explored um you know, the characters that it dealt with and kind of like the themes and a bit of the, like the bigger lo like world building, I was ruined by the end. <laughs> um, really, oh no, right, it really slow burned, but then at like when it got going, I was sad. <laughs> it was incredible. Um, okay, Big Thera takes the longest to cook, but has some of the highest payoffs. Word, yes, 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 yes. That's your cries for the story. I cry from a my wallet. We are not the same. No, if you knew what I spent on this game. <laughs> if you see the skins I have. <laughs> um, you haven't spent several sleepless nights chatting with Kiana and character K character AI to cope with the Kiana list content in game. No, don't tell me that. Um and so this chapter, the star which gazes upon the moon, or the star which the moon gazes upon, um, was really fun. I thought it was a nice little, like, um, you know, like, it was a nod to all of the past characters and an intro to some of the new characters. You guys really didn't miss much, like, story-wise, which is why we're just going to go straight into part two. Um, all you need to know is that they're starting a new operation on the on the on the moon. Was it on the moon? Yeah, on the moon. Oh my god, yeah, that's why Kiana was there the whole time. Duh. Uh, they're starting a new operation on the moon. These were two candidates who passed the test for this operation um, with the highest score, and they went to the moon. And Kiana um, was going to be like a teacher to them, and so this part was kind of um, Kiana, May, and Bronya came together to, you know, give Kiana the confidence to be a teacher. And <laughs> hi, baby. Um, and intro these two new characters. Hi, baby. You're so cute. Um. Uh, the last time I cried on okay, I packed third was when I read the part one recap book. I did get that. I don't. <laughs> I can't think about it. I'll cry. <laughs> I'll cry. Like don't, don't, don't ask me about it. I'll cry. Show me yours. No, I literally, I can't open that because I will cry. Like I'm getting teary. Like I'm genuinely getting teary eyed thinking about it i can't do it we're gonna if i open that book we're gonna be here for, <laughs> for way too long <laughs> i want to play chapter one <laughs> um baby what's wrong um yeah so where we're at in the story is um we've introed the new characters and i think we're about to just start whatever the new story is <gasps> and Anjay, we're gonna try to probably just get through the first arc of chapter one because i am i'm a fucking yapper i i don't think <laughs> i don't think we'll have time to get through more than um uh, part, like the first arc, um, but I am going, my plan is to stream all of the, um, new, new story content, um, so, so, I hope you're, I hope you'll be here for that ride. Tuna era is over, it's now sardine era, no! No! <laughs> Tuna era is never over. Oh my god, wait guys, I'm sweating. <laughs> Guys, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. <laughs> okay. 
Let's go. It's a loud screen. <laughs> and you're sure volume is okay? Like, tell me if you, like, any of the dialogue is... Oh. So this this is the new pro tag. Obviously, I picked the woman woman version. She's a cutie. I don't know anyone who picked the man version. Not no shade if you did, but I I don't know. Oh, she's cute. <gasps> she has band aids. Clumsy baby. <gasps> Are we at a cat cafe? <gasps> Volume is good. Perfect. もうそんな時間。ごめんね。大丈夫ですよ。また oh god, she's so cute. They make some of the NPCs way too cute. Well, look at her. Look at her. Oh shit. Oh, you know, I haven't looked at her full um her full fit. She's really cute. I didn't realize her hair was so long. Wow. Is there anything to see here? <laughs> 10 out of 10 choice starting in a cat cafe, though. Ooh, 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 ooh. The thoughtless experiment. Oh, well, whatever. We'll read that later. We'll read that. <laughs> Look at this baby. Look at this baby. Lumi's Lumi's everywhere are quaking. Don't let her know that I'm looking at other cats. Don't let Lumi know. She's also cute. She's the same, but different hair color. <laughs> oh, the first book you get is really cryptic, so make sure to read later. Yes, sir. Oh. Ah. Okay, so it looks like, um, I saw some people complaining <laughs> about this online, how there was, like, too much open world stuff, um, in the first bits of this story, but personally, I don't super mind, um, the open world parts about, of Honkai Impact, oh, that's a lot of weirds, um, <laughs> Um, but it does feel very star rail-y. I wonder if they were trying to get some crossover play there. <laughs> Oxia City Foundation Heritage, anchor of the apocalypse. In the veins of the uprooted tree lies the eternal fate bestowed upon us by the heavens in this new abode. Mm. These are the words spoken by our ancestors during the founding of... <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm going to but butcher this. Langchu linked to you millennia ago as recorded in the ancient chronicles a century ago the venerable son of oh, this venerable seven shoes oh, seven shoes left us with the invaluable teachings through the same proclamation just as withered trees may come back to life in spring so does a ravaged world Ooh. anchor of the apocalypse we christened our most precious legacy this ominous name to commemorate the world's past. The cataclysmic tide once cast us into the abyss of quantum uncertainty. uncertainty. <laughs> Yet in a corner of the sea of data, buoyed by the sacrifices of the seven shoes and the benefaction of the cosmos, we not only persevered but flourished, birthing a new civilization within the domain known as a bubble universe. Today, we erect a monument around this cherished legacy. It shall endure not merely as a landmark of Oxia, but as a beacon inspiring all citizens to forge ahead into the future. May the spirit of the seven shoes remain immortal, and may the flame of civilization never be extinguished. The 16th mayor of Oxia... I don't know what those tubes are. Shuan? Shuan? Shonglin? Shonglin? 
oh gosh, on the 37th day of the 18th month in the 105th year of the era of <laughs> this is just like tagline down there. No. <laughs> Why is it just <laughs> RIP. The twos are formatting errors. Rip. Oh, hi, Zexo. How's it going? Oh, that was some lore. That was some lore. Hello, sir. Oh. <gasps> house. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> do we get a house? I'm interested, but I can't afford it on students' income. Actually, the Data Research Institute just allocated a free apartment to me. <gasps> no, I want it. <laughs> <laughs> it would be Honkai without some jank reel. Also, do you guys want me to read it out loud even though it is voiced? But it is voiced in oh, in um, Japanese, so I guess listeners won't know what it is. Fast and tranquil haven, oxia, quality abodes, move and ready. Wow, I want to move in there. <laughs> I want to move in there. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Ooh. Wow. This open world does feel a bit more fluid than um, the previous ones. I think maybe only the moon compares. Hmm. Just voice everyone with the commander voice. Stop. <laughs> so we have to go. Got a long day tomorrow. Good to see you. Wish we had time to know about May's social form. Fuck! I forgot. I'm so sorry. Um, but good night, Silver Wolf. Um, I'll drop. I'll drop them in Discord so you can see it. Um, how many times have we seen an apartment in a game and been like, yeah, I live there. Me, me, real. <laughs> me, anytime I see a nice house in a game, I'm just like, damn, I wish that was me. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Teleport steak. Use to move across the world swiftly. Cool. Oh my goodness. So this is like a whole built out. Whole built out open world. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Um so in the game of Wow, we got real NPCs doing like real NPC stuff. How cool. Um, so in in this game, there have been a couple different types of story formats. Um, my personal favorite have been the ones that are more, oh, what's the word for it? Um, where they're like chapters and you can every single like scene of a chapter you can like click into that and you're just like plopped into a self-contained little environment just to play that bit of story and then there's open world chapters which is what this looks like it is so far um oh i didn't want to read that right now i just wanted to grab it <laughs> um where you play through the world but you can also explore the world as you go this is interesting what it up <gasps> I'm Men Menani. <laughs> I'm so sorry if I just butchered your name, but welcome in. Thank you so much for the follow. I'm messing around with the concept of open world since even before Genshin release. They have, they have in the Samsaras and in some of the games. Yeah, it's definitely not unique to Genshin or Star Rail. Oh, oh my gosh! Wait, no, focus. We must stay focused. <laughs> We must stay focused. This is the trap, though, of open worlds for me, is I will, and this is why, god, this is why playing through the Genshin um, storyline takes me so fucking long. It's because I'll just be, like, traipsing about, and then I'll be like, oh, what's this over here? And then find something cool, get lost on, like, 12 different side quests, and then five hours later just be like, oh, yeah, I was playing a story, wasn't I? <laughs> no, I made bathwater in those vending machines. Stop. <laughs> She's so cute. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Me. Now, Genkoku. 
was all that just a figment of my imagination? The day before yesterday, I did stay up all night to finish a major assignment. So tired, I should hurry home and get some sleep. Congratulations, you're a college student. Fuck! <laughs> I play games to escape my dreary reality of a law student. <laughs> I love that we have a, a built-in washer dryer. This place is nice. This place is nice. Um, I've never seen anyone's braids flap behind them like it does. Oh. Everyone, shut up. Do you hear that jazz? <gasps> That's nice. That's nice. Look at this TV. What kind of college student are we? What is this place? This is, this is a whole ass mansion. What is this? A dressing mirror. When you feel like getting a change of pace, you can use it to change up your looks. Ooh, interesting. Wait, that's it? <laughs> outfit. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do we get outfits? Do we get outfits? So, oh my gosh, I hope we get outfits. Ooh, observe the. Look, look, seeing astroscope. Emmy Pear! Oh my goodness, Emmy, thank you so much for the raid! Welcome in, raiders! Um, my name is Astria, and tonight we are playing through part two of one of my favorite games ever, Honkai Impact 3rd. Emmy Raid, yeah! When you reach a certain point in the story, you can change your name and gender and then you're- Oh, fun! Okay. Okay, so, Marty, I, like, did it when part two dropped, it, like, there was a selection screen at one point. I was so worried it was going to force me to start playing part two. I was like, no, I don't want to play it now. So I just like, I thought I just like picked woman and ran out of there. Oh, oh, I, I didn't read that. <laughs> um, Hello, it is a Twitch algo. So please refresh to, to uh oh, oh, is that why, is that why people who are partner pushing are so, um, uh, they ask people to re to refresh. Interesting. Although it did not have much practical use in the bubble universe that followed the great eruption, the Data Research Institute in Oxia City still carried on the tradition of giving each new graduate student <gasps> and we're a graduate student stop <laughs> uh, Astroscope as a symbol of encouragement. Cool 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 cool. Remembering history is the essence of data. Sick. Okay. Okay. I wanna. I wanna. Can we go upstairs? I wanna see what's upstairs. <gasps> this is so nice. Step in. I, I don't wanna read. I don't wanna read. <laughs> no, I'll probably go back and reread all of this. Um, off stream. Another enrollment gift. The oh, Alta Zemoth model. It was said that ancient people used it to determine the. Azimuth and altitude of celestial objects. Interesting. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Ooh, wait. I wonder if this fills up with like trophies as we go through the story. Oh, that'd be really cool. I hope we get to decorate it too. It's kind of bare. <laughs> it's kind of a little bare. All right, let's go to sleep. This is such a nice apartment. I'm jealous. The lore in the books is pretty heavy, but very informative, though. Perfect. <gasps> oh. Okay. Wow, she's so cute. <gasps> Did we just get yoinked? <gasps> what did we get yoinked to? Whose voice is this? 
It sounds like um that um that that like pinky red haired girl a little bit. Did you ever play Project Se Sekai? I didn't actually. Oh, forced walk. Fuck. I hate the forced walk. <laughs> Let's open up into the stars. <gasps> Mars! Gonna play into like Vita and um, any of the like Mars lore that we learned in 1.5. Am I supposed to do anything? Do I click it? Oh, oh I accidentally clicked hide. <laughs> I was like, where did it go? <laughs> This planet. A planet sized tomb for civilizations. Oh, but then why do the sky and the ocean? Is that because of the great eruption? Ooh, choices. Oh. Cool. Oh, yes, yes. I know that for you, the existence of the sky and the ocean is common sense. But then, However, from the perspective of the universe, this world, which is now called Mars by outsiders, has had its final civilization drifting in the sea of Quanta for far too long. From Luna to Elysium, from Phoenix to Arcadia, the once vibrant Olympus is now cold and desolate, and those fantastic auroras have long since vanished without a trace. All civilizations and all forms of life disappeared from the universe eons ago, leaving only specks of light scattered between dimensions. There is in real life a location called Elysium on Mars. Oh, I know. I just. <laughs> just Elysium mentioned. <laughs> Of course, for your people, this is all fairly recent history, merely a hundred years or so ago. <gasps> Hi, Astro! How are you? Time always bifurcates and leads to countless futures. And after a long distortion... <gasps> <laughs> You finally appeared in this dream and therefore awoke me. Oh, <gasps> oh shit. I know, Lumi's been so needy today. I'm sorry if she's meowing in the background. Oh, whoa. What exactly is this? Within the depths of this dream, we will form a covenant to save civilizations. Wow, come, I stand before you. This looks... Hmm. Um. Yeah, I was gonna say, this looks like um, when they go between dreams, and it also, it's just giving, like, you know, 
It's giving Sea of Quantum vibes. The doors remind me of like, you know, when whenever we have to like remember things, all the doors Kiana went through at one point. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Teleported again. Let's go. Gosh, she's so cute. Wow. Woman spotted. Woman spotted. Outfit is giving like the final Hersher forms vibes, you know. Hello there, you are the one who dreamt of me. Her outfit reminds me of yours, LMAO. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, me. Um, but who is she? She is. Um, we'll find out. But I, I think I know from. Twitter and her being a battle suit, but um, um, <laughs> you'll find out very soon. Ah, oh, baby, <laughs> why do we look so confused? Our times are not synchronized. Although it's really interesting because this version of her seems like not the same version of her that like I've seen in promo material and battle however in any case i have been waiting for you waiting for me why who are you exactly what is happening oh. <laughs> If it is indeed correct that all truths lead to be conveyed through rituals and covenants, then <gasps> would you like to dance with me? Oh shit, wait, I think the scene coming up inspired fan artists across the globe. Oh, I'm so ready. I'm so ready. Would you like to dance with me? Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Agree. <laughs> sure, you can keep up. <gasps> oh, everyone shut up. Everyone shut up. <laughs> I feel like I, I'm watching something very intimate. Such a tender look. <gasps> oh, my gosh! I don't even know her and I'm about to start crying. What is that? <gasps> what? This is though.
This is so beautiful. Oh, that that wasn't that that was a scorpion. Oh no! What game is this? And again, you can always tell what game I'm playing um, by looking at the title of stream. Um, but this is Honkai Impact 3rd, part 2. <laughs> Some people think that the giant speed in the sky is fighting Ali. It looked like it, didn't it? That would explain why it's less populated these days. Stop. <laughs> Wasn't that beautiful, though? Oh my goodness. I think, I think that showed us... Um, Mars when it was in its prime and then um why it's the way it is today wow. and with that the work is mostly done so what exactly is this covenant <laughs> it has to do with saving the world of course <laughs> Crossing our proper times, your dream has entered mine. Wow. Well, um, yeah, I was saying that I think it's really special for Hongkai Back there to start with a beautiful cutscene than an action based one. I think so too, right? Um, like, it's. It just feels very on brand, you know? Before, before you, oh, she's still talking. I'm so sorry. <laughs> before you, no one had ever reached this place, and after you, no one shall ever meet me again. What? No, stop! You're too beautiful. <laughs> I must see you again. Hi, Nexa. What's up? Yeah, her eyes are so pretty, aren't they? You hail from the final reverberation of the world, from the other shore where time is frozen. You are the one I am destined to encounter, the lone echo of this planet. Wah! Oh. <laughs> I love how I'm excited and she's like, nah girl, slow down, this is our first date. あなたは世界の泡に住む人。あなたの唯一の故郷。その外側には漁師の海の片隅。You are a resident of the bubble universe. Your only home surrounded by a corner of the sea of quanta known as the ever-changing sea of data. Thinking of playing Honkai Star, あなたの浮かしている全てのものが星の海溝として存在しなくなる。Ooh, everything so familiar to you can only exist as a glimmer of this planet. But do not fret. I will entrust everything to you. Kibo! She said Kibo! Yeah! 
Okay, I will entrust everything to you. Dreams, the future, and hope. Okay, but this is excellent because I I love I love when stories are like this. It's like you know, you <laughs> you're just like some random person, and then suddenly the entire fate of the world is thrust upon you. And I'm sitting here going like, "Fuck yeah, I'm ready for round two. We will save the world." <laughs> but then like the reality of it is like, we're just some dude. You know, we're just some dude. <laughs> and some space trick who, like, is like, this is the destiny. You are the last echo of this world. Is like, good luck. Good luck, kid. Wow, she's so beautiful. At the end of this covenant, you will, in time, save the world. And in doing so, you will also save everyone's souls. No, why does it look like she's going away? No! No, 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 you're too beautiful. You need to stay with me, please. <laughs> Shit, that's this real. I know your name, though. But I don't even know your name yet. Senadina. Senadina. Sardine! <laughs> That's beautiful. My name is Senadina. It means the glow of faith. My authority, as well as my destiny, lies at the end of the world, where it will shepherd that soul light. That? Is she a Hersher? Because she has authority. No. Guys, I'm gonna have to, after this cutscene, I think I'm gonna need to go <laughs> give my kitty a quick little pet because she's being so needy. <laughs> okay, so let me let me slap a tinfoil hat on real quick. Okay, so she has all the fixings of the final versions of the Hershers that Kiana, May, and Bronya had. She's especially giving Kiana vibes with these like things that are going on um and now she just says that she has authority so maybe she has a hersher power also those eyes girly those eyes do not lie <laughs> <So they're gone. gasps> <gasps> which is you we are the soul light look at that what is that give me that but it's also giving alicia you know like this this motif on her skirt feels very alician and then the like stars feel very May. Mew, 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 mew. Savior, I do, I do, I do. Um, but also Savior, and you know, anyone who's played this game or played part two already, you know, let me let me like let me like tinfoil hat, right? <laughs> let me discover answers as I play through the game. Um and if, if, you know, if I, if I get like stuck on something and I need to ask you guys for like an obvious truth, <laughs> I will, but you know, let me, let me, let me stumble through it. We'll get there. We'll get there. I promise. <laughs> this is. This is our token, the final blessing bestowed upon humanity by the world. Ooh. <laughs> Me. What's wrong, baby? <laughs> they are called the astral rings. They are the embodiment of the starry sky, the swan song of both heaven and earth. That is such an ominous, ominous sign. <laughs> I wonder if um, these are something that we'll give to the main trio. You know, you know, 
may the most suitable person use them. I believe that despite being born from the final reverberation, you will be able to save yourselves and the civilization. Now! Don't leave! Now it is time to set off. You will traverse your own dreams and meet companions from another planet. But before that... <gasps> Can't you tell me your name, Dream Seeker? <gasps> Entropy! Oh, wait, is that... I wonder... Was that the canon name? <gasps> oh. Oh, this can be changed later. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh, wait. That's so interesting, though. If our name is Entropy. What? Ah. Go. Goku. Is that? Gagu. Gagit. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just butcher you use your name. <laughs> but thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Lurk, I'd love to stay, but I'm getting sleepy, but I'll be lurking. Okay, thank you so much for being here, Neko. I'm sorry you couldn't see more of um, the game tonight, but I'm so happy. I'm so happy that you could be here for a bit. It's certainly not a specific name at all. <laughs> Very cryptic name. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, feel, I feel like I'm side-eyeing. I'm side eyeing this name so hard. I'm like, why, 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 why pre-fill it with entropy? What does that mean? <laughs> and Orioni, hi. Saw you on time to say good night. <laughs> good night, Orioni. Thank you for popping in, dude. Hi, how are you all? You can call me Koge or Goku or Ko. I'll call you Goku. Thank you and welcome in. I'm doing so well. I'm doing so well. I hope you're doing well too. Mm. Uh, yeah, you will. Oh, okay. I will remember. As the armament of the covenant, I will wait for you on the other side of the stars. <laughs> no! Does that mean I have to go get her? <laughs> no! Oh, sorry, cutscene. Oh, she is beautiful. And she believes in us. We can't let her down. That was kind of crazy. Narrator. Da, 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 da. Uh, you made a promise covenant to her and only her and she gave you a ring. That's a marriage. That's what I'm saying. Dog, like that dance, that everything, like that, that was... <laughs> we, <laughs> we just got ourselves a wife. <laughs> well, if I don't count right now, there are... Now are 6.30 a.m. and I didn't sleep well at all. Yeah, doing fine. Enjoying anime, manga. I saw you recommended inside of House on Pie. Aww. Well, thank you. I'm honored that you chose my stream to pop in. Um, I hope you can get some sleep soon, though. I'm sure you'll need it for the new day. Uh, hello from Philly. Hi, Libby. How are you? They just really wanted to remind you right away that there's Honkai Impact there. No, okay. Actually, like, never beating... <laughs> Never beating the Yuri allegations. Hi, McJake. Wow, I'm glad it was immediately a canon canon ship. I'm I'm here for it. Um, but this seems like a super stellar time to take a um a very quick little break because my cat's being a little crazy. So I'm just gonna go um I'm just gonna go give her a super quick little pet. <laughs> And see why she's being so yappy. Um, yeah, super quick break time. Lumi being Lumi, she is. But she's my cute little baby girl, so she 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 gets away with it. <laughs> okay, I will be right back super quick. Don't go anywhere. BNB! Lumi! <laughs> Lumi, I'm about to give you attention. I'll be right Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you. 
Bum, 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 bum. I'm back. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys got some water and you guys got some snacks. Lumi got some love and attention and she got snacks. And now it's back to business. <laughs> Although you may hear her playing with her treat toy in the background. Just ignore any casual rattling. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you, Coco. Thank you, McJang. <laughs> snack. I don't get a snack. <laughs> Thank you for the lurk. You have unlocked almighty power. Ooh, Bruggy, what is it? Any casual crunch. You might hear it in the background. <laughs> you figured out how to use multi-twitch. Oh, that's crazy. Does that mean like multi-streams at one time? Okay, so we just saw that beautiful scene. We just got a new wife. And now I think it's back to our life in the college dorms. Let's find out. Narrator. Dot, dot, dot. I'll have some breakfast on this morning for me. Anyway, how was your Star Wheel stream so far? <laughs> so this is actually Honkai Impact 3rd. Um, a, another game by Hoyoverse. Um, <laughs> the, um, the, the predecessor to <laughs> Star Rail. Um, I, I do understand the similarities though. But it's so much fun so far. I just, this is part two, um, which is the next major story arc in the game. And it's been so good so far. And getting to share it with chat has been incredible. Sorry, I think you can notice I don't play much audio games. Totally fine. Don't even sweat. Don't even sweat. Is this Vita? <laughs> it is said that teenagers are most prone to falling in their dreams. In fact, this is a sign of their bodies growing. 
I'm up here tonight. Happy gaming. Good night, Simon. Thank you so much for popping in. Jetball no shooting ga yo te dori ni ya te kita toki. Karera wa odoro ki nagara betto no yawara kasa ni kizuki. Osoro shi taiken ga gai no nai genkaku datta to hotto suru no da. At the height of their despair, they will be surprised to feel the softness of their beds, where they will sigh in relief upon realizing the once terrifying experience is nothing but a harmless illusion. This sounds so much like Vita. <laughs> Afterward, they will marvel at the absurdity of dreams and rediscover that their lives still hold infinite possibilities. <laughs> For example, a star whisperer born from a dream. <laughs> oh my, don't go snooping around other people's screens with your eyes of Bodhi. Bodhi? Body? Body? <laughs> body Addy. Besides, this is most certainly beyond its expectations. Wow, there is there is so much to take in on this screen. We have Vita toes out Vita, although I think she's wearing socks or stockings. Um, oh my gosh, we got cabbage, but we got sexy cabbage in a new fit. This is like a Mobius outfit. It's so cool. The Vita toes for free. <laughs> Vita has pants on. She does, but toes, toes. <laughs> Um, but this is, this is the outfit that she wore, um, before she went super crazy. So, actually, wait, that's a really good point. She does have pants, so that, but she still has the crazy eyes. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hi, dead grandma. How's it going? I am actually so obsessed with this outfit, though. When do we get this in game? <laughs> Whether it is a false god or time, their powers are not easily controlled. Just like this desert, known to the earthlings as the Chrissy Planitia Panisha? Planitia, oh. <laughs> which must have been an enrapturing bay a billion years prior. Also, it looks like they're on a plane or a train. <laughs> Next update in CN. <laughs> I'm so glad I started this then. I would have seen this outfit and been like, what is this? <laughs> Where is it coming from? Chrissy, Planitia, thank you. Back then, even I hadn't been born yet. But if this covenant is faulty since the first step, it could be quite interesting, don't you think? Do not, do, do not dare say my marriage, my marriage is faulty. What are you thinking, my oh-so-restless guest? Young people have endless potential. I just said it earlier, did I not? So things are actually quite the opposite. Perhaps only with such mind-boggling variables can the covenant achieve its true value. <sighs> oh, I have so many questions. <laughs> Within a little boat constructed of pseudotime crystal, two strangers who met by chance both observed a ripple in the sea of Quanta. Yeah, why, why, why is Vita there with I? <laughs> so many questions. Uh, it seems like they're on a train or playing me. Why not both? <laughs> it 
See, if they were on a train, it would be very in line with the rest of the game. But the curtains and like the way the the bed, the like couches were, it felt very plainy. No, my channel will take no. <laughs> I just slept later. I know no one better slander her in my chat. I love her so much. The way I screamed when we first got her as a playable. However, before they truly impact the story, wow. Let us go back to where the dream began and quietly join a fantastical journey for the young. Gosh, she's sounding like Fuha. <laughs> anyway, something good is happening right now. That was such a crazy little, like, aside. <gasps> Everyone shut up! Everyone shut up! She's here! She's <laughs> And she's okay. She's small. <laughs> I didn't even read what they said. <laughs> I was too excited that they're here. They're finally here. <laughs> but why was okay? Now, now I'm even more confused. So when when I played the um, prologue, right, the intro bit that I said that you guys don't really need to worry about, we only got to meet. Um, Shit, I forgot their names. But the silver haired girl and then the, the duo duo hair duo colored hair girl. And I was like, well, I know that the red haired girl is very important to the game. But I was confused why she wasn't in that prologue. And now that we met her as her like hot, sexy version in the stars and she became our wife. I don't know why she's how she is right now, but I guess we'll find out very soon. Cause she also has like an interesting scar thing across her chest, and I just have so many questions. And now they're here, and now we're gonna find out. Hopefully, <laughs> I love our glasses. Mysteries galore for sure. Zenodia. Yeah, yeah, there she is. Like, but oh wait, shit, her eyes are different. <gasps> Okay, her eyes are different. She has this glowing scar thing. Um, but still like vibes. <laughs> of course we do. Oh, wait. <laughs> she said, do you know me? I'm not sure, but we probably just met in a dream. Yeah, we did. Oh. <laughs> what kind of corny pickup line is that? Uh, we don't need a pickup line, you're our wife. Okay, yeah, so we met, we met her. Wow, I really cannot remember their names. Oh no. Um, but we met these two in the uh, prologue intro, and they were like, they were from earth they were the winners of the contest to be selected for the program why are you there <gasps> hi asia voodoo are we actually playing the game or is that you're just sweating over hot anime ladies for two hours stop we're playing the game we're gaming we're gaming oh, she's, so cute. she's she's genki Oh, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to make fun of you. Please don't take it seriously. Are you not Senadia? Senna, that's so cute. My name is indeed Senadina. I also go by Senna. Hell yeah, Coralie, thank you. I was like... <laughs> I, I was like, I should remember, but I don't remember. I don't remember because I'm stupid. Her little wave is so fucking cute. Everything she is is so cute. Like her voice, her mannerisms. Love her. But I really don't recognize you, and I'm curious. Wait, what? <laughs> Why were we locked up face to face earlier? She has Honkai. Oh, Honoka hair. She has Honoka. Oh, she does have Honoka hair. Stop. She even has a little, like, side pony. She's like Mini Ellie. Oh, wait, we already have Mini Ellie. Yeah, her. 
she kind of reminds me of like if Kiana and Ellie like got smashed together. Look at those mountain ranges and then there's Coralie's. <laughs> Well, when I phrase it that way, you're bound to be confused. Here, look. These two accidentally broke our seals, so now we're a team. Were we in that thing? Coralie! Coralie! She's so cute! <laughs> Oh. Oh, I forgot how good her voice was. <laughs> Elia! <laughs> All I can say is things happen. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Coralie, you don't need to be so wary. I'm Heria. Heria. I'm Heria. I'm my name is Helia. I would always Helia. Family name first, given name second. This here is my partner, Coralie6626 Plank. We are Shiksal. Baka. <laughs> Idiot. What's the point of rattling off information they can't comprehend? <laughs> Aliens. <laughs> the long and short of it is that we are aliens. We found ourselves lost in this quantum space, and by sheer coincidence, we rescued you both from that cube. <laughs> Basically, the original trio, but in Mars, for sure. <laughs> Kayla's name is for the daughter of the sun, and Coralie's name means the daughter of the sea. That's cute as fuck. I love that. But yeah, if it, like, I love that they kept the same vibes in this trio that the original trio had. It makes it still feel very much like Honkai Impact, you know? Yeah. I love her design. <laughs> She's so cool. Question mark? Before we get our hopes up, let me ask. Wait a second, did you just say you're aliens? <gasps> She's so cute! <gasps> Is there a problem? <laughs> no, wait! Someone entrusted me with something in a dream to give you. I love how she's like, ah, the first person we meet. <laughs> <laughs> you three, I have three, let's go. <laughs> Question mark? What's this? Ah, I remember now. They're the astral rings, yes? Okay, wait, so... <laughs> so you do know? But... <laughs> Why do you... You think Helia represents the Fuha energy and Dream Seeker is the Mei? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Is that not what they're called? That's not what I meant. Didn't you just say you don't know me? Why do you hear that kind of I see what we're I see where we're going okay huh what do you mean I really don't know you in fact I don't have any memories at all before meeting you guys it's as if my life started at this very moment Yet somehow you know my name. Don't you find that strange? <sighs> Astriot me shared the previous dream with the three. 
is Rudu. We don't know why she has a crack in her chest because the, the oh, you missed the best scene ever. Oh my goodness, you'll have to go rewatch it. But in the like intro cutscene, we saw her in a different form where she seemed a bit more mature, a bit more powerful, a bit more, uh, <laughs> a bit more hershery, if you ask me. Um, and now she has no memory of us. She has a different outfit. A crack in her chest that's glowing with some suspiciously pinky energy. <laughs> um, yeah, interesting. Every time I forget that the our character can actually talk. No, oh my goodness. I don't know if you play um, Genshin Impact, but um, in the last chunk of the main story that came out recently, our character talks quite a bit and it's such a like whiplash because uh, like Traveler doesn't usually speak at all. And I was like, oh my God, Traveler's out here speaking. <laughs> Oh my god, Asian Wu, I will reach through this screen and I will fight you. I will fight you. I will 1v1 you. That's rather bizarre indeed. But you said your name was Astral Ring. I didn't see you in the story. However, the way you talk about Sinadina and the Astral Rings doesn't seem like lying. That's right. It's a combination of the Genghis system in the Genghis system. <laughs> True. Additional observational data from the automatic language translation system supports your story. <laughs> I actually had that question. I was like, how do we understand each other? How do I understand each other? Also, I love her like, I love when characters have eyes like this, the like partially open ones, like sleepy eyes. Oh, love it. Wow. <laughs> How do you know that? Astri has no reason to deceive us. Besides, the astral rings correspond to the constellations up above. Out of curiosity, the red-headed girl reached out for one of the astral rings. However, the instant her finger touched the... Oh, an Eric treasure. Oh! <gasps> We fight! <gasps> oh! We get Yo-Yo Girl! We get Yo-Yo Girl! Oh my god, oh my god, I'm so ready. I'm so ready. Oh. Ah! She dodges on her Yo-Yo! Stop! <laughs> uh, okay, cool, cool, cool. I haven't used these guys much at all, so I'm not super familiar with their like team comp. So like I said, be 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 kind. Okay, it was looking pretty... Oh, sick! That was super fluid. Ah! Oh. Ah! She's wearing her fit! Oh my gosh, why did, why, did she, why did she look so hot? Why did she look so evil? Okay. <clears throat> There's so many questions. Why do you look like Mobius? <laughs> Dealing damage increases astral ring intensity. When Astral Ring Intensity reaches its maximum, tap Astral Ring to enter Stellar Outpost ap 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 <laughs> Outburst Mode. Okay, so when I was doing the trial for Thelma, um, she had this, and I was like, I don't know what this is, but this is great. Okay. Okay, yes. <gasps> Sick! Okay, that must be what the... Um, the astral pius gotcha. So I bet they do different things. Don't mind me just like muttering about mechanics real quick. Sick. Yeah, I love the like the imp improvements, the changes they did on the gameplay. It's so fun. BRB the darkness you put to bed. Okay, bed. And yeah, the soundtrack is super dope. I I've, <laughs> I I've listened to a bit of the soundtrack for part two already, and it's so good. I think they're mostly designed to be really unga bunga, no brain characters for the sake of new players, <laughs> for the sake of me. <laughs> I don't really understand what is I Lambda doing ever since she just appeared out of nowhere in Moon Arc. Yeah. Isn't that a great question? I have some tinfoil hat theories about her that I don't want to get into right now because we will just sit here and talk about that and I want to get through the story. 
<laughs> but um, if you remind me later, I'll I'll share my my, <coughs> my theories. Jeez, uh, you gave me quite a scare. Fortunately for us, these monsters aren't much of a threat. <laughs> Are you sure you didn't summon them? <laughs> huh? So I'm some kind of jinx? That's a bit disheartening. <laughs> you really need to learn how to take a joke. Anyway, back to the astral rings. Yeah, that was a fun little, fun little thing. Astral Ring's power was created for everyone. Oh, the Astral Ring's power tailors itself to each specific individual. Don't forget us. We are all to support the Astral Connector. You are going to be a good leader. Give yourself a little more credit too. You're the supporting Astral Op. Astral Op. <laughs> After all. You play it. You also played a crucial role. But mm -hmm. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if that's the case, things just became even more suspicious. You said someone entrusted you with these astral rings in a dream to give us. Am I to take that literally? It was her. It was her. I don't understand it either. Not long ago, I went to bed as usual and dreamt of a dead planet and the series of events that followed. Mm. I'm also hoping to make sense of why I woke up in this unexplored sea of data. Hmm. Hmm. I have questions. About the if I play Genshin question, I don't I'm gonna handle the tutorial and I just stop there. I will appreciate my three favorite characters in Genshin. <gasps> Who are your favorite characters? I'm so curious, but playing them with ache me too much honestly i feel like i would get bored of doing too many daily and stuff that's so fair i feel like games like genshin and you know honestly gotchas in general like they they definitely appeal to a certain type of person and that type of person is me huh <laughs> but i i don't i do think they're for um they're not for everyone and that's so fair so don't even worry about it but i'm curious who your favorite characters are I too will have an even more central role in part two lots of theories out there but i would expect part two to be the really meta textual <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for it. Data no umi. Oh, kono ryoshi kouka no namae? Sea of Data, is that the specific name for this quantum space? So da kedo, dou ka shita? Yeah, what's up? Nan demo nai. Tokoro de, ima shinda hoshi no hanashi o shita yo ne. Nothing, but about that dead planet you mentioned. Nen no tame, dou yu kanji ka kaite kureru? Just to be sure, could you sketch it out? We have paper and pen. Oh, I'm so excited for this picture. Sure, but my drawing skills might not be quite up to, up to snuff. <gasps> Do we get to draw it? Oh my god, this is gorgeous. What? <laughs> I thought I thought it was gonna be like I thought it was gonna be just like a circle with like a squiggle on it. <laughs> This is more or less what it looks like. Real. Wow, that's an impressive amount of detail. You can draw. Looks a whole lot like Mars to me. Yes, the knowledge you possess is definitely not the result of a random fluctuation in the sea of quanta. この惑星の本当の姿を知る方法なんてあなたにはないはず。あなたのいる世界の泡がこれほど静まり返ってるなら、そもそも暮らせないと思う。
It should be impossible for you to learn the true appearance of this planet. If the bubble universe you're in is as desolate as it seems, then you shouldn't have been able to survive. I think Dream Seeker's GP voice is so cute. It really is. Also, I was a little, like, worried about how it would be having, you know, Dream Seeker be, like, quote-unquote, us. But they're so far what I'm seeing is like she's integrated just like another character and so it doesn't feel as jarring as I kind of thought it was gonna be when they announced that like we would have like a protagonist character so I think that's great college students am I right <laughs> yeah you know college students suddenly able to draw like that uh, they're some of my favorites too you have great taste uh, well, and Serials was Acheron and Black Swan. <gasps> oh, yeah, the animated short for them. French Kiss, impeccable, beautiful. Hoyo at it again. <laughs> you have really great taste. Dream Seeker being us will end up being really important, I think, since Aichan is here, right? I think it'll be really, like, I feel like they're, <laughs> it's like what you said, it feels like they're getting, like, really, really big-brained with this. This feels, <sighs> maybe I'm too small-brained for what's to come, but we'll find out together. Ah, <laughs> 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 What I think Coralie is trying to say is that through this drawing in the astral rings, you've gained her trust. <laughs> My third eye open, putting together essays and theories for part. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, yes. I'm so fucking ready for it. I've been dodging, like, theory discussions and, like, um, you know, tinfoil hats about part two because I haven't played it yet. And so I'm so excited to catch up with it so I can, like, <laughs> so I can read the theories. <laughs> Oh. Her little comment was so cute. Sorry, I interrupted Helia's self introduction earlier. We come from the third planet in the solar system. Just like how you hail from the fourth planet, I suppose each of us could consider the other to be extraterrestrial. <laughs> That's such an interesting perspective of Earth. The third planet, the blue planet, and the giant grayish satellite. <laughs> you need to earn several PhDs on quantum physics or necromancy and revive Schrodinger himself to ask about his cat to understand 5% of all guy impact. <laughs> No, I feel like that's so real, and it's also like for, um, you know, to get the full, full story of Honkai Impact, like the deep lore, you need to have played like the, like, random visual novels, have read the comics, and like, also be like slightly aware of other games that are happening. It's so funny. <laughs> for real though, they're not watering down on Honkai Impact Third's concept for a casual audience at all to its own detriment but also very rewarding yeah i was also worried about that that they would like try to make it a little lighter um if anything like the honkai impact is honkai impacting <laughs> so hard already i love it so there is a civilization on that blue planet <laughs> Girly Bob, you just confirmed there were aliens. Of course she's shocked. Why are you so shocked? Then again, I suppose I can understand. <laughs> we're in this together, so don't be so hard on me. However, speaking of this... This is part of our travel log. It might help you more thoroughly understand our origins. Wow. You know, that's that's a lot of text. Yeah, that's a lot of text I probably should read. Um, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna just like speed read this. You guys can just like read it wrong if you can keep up. I'm not gonna read it out loud though, because that's a lot of words. <laughs> Ooh. 
Love the gap. <laughs> oh, also I just realized like um the 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 years. <gasps> That's cool. Mm. Ooh. Huh. I wonder where they're like bases though. <gasps> I wonder if it's just them on Mars. Einstein mentioned. Also, this is so funny to me that she just handed over this thick ass logbook to a stranger and was like, Yeah, just read this super quick and then you'll get to know how we got here. <laughs> These posts were put on Hoya Lab and the actual date written here, indicating that part two might actually be told in real time. That's really exciting because that's what it looked like. Because if I remember right, this was about when it like first started coming out, right? I actually really like how they incorporate a long text in the story. They have a lot of flavor. They do. And I don't know if people won't like them, but I love them as a lore head. <laughs> um... If you notice, last entry is on January 31st, particularly released on February 1st. That's so clever. I love that. That's so cool. Because it makes it feel like more, more like real, you know, like we're, <laughs> like we're living it with them. Oh, <gasps> 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 In any case, our current objectives ought to be similar. Although there are many mysteries around us, I would not advise staying here for too long. <laughs> hey, wait! Don't go! <laughs> <gasps> oh my God, look at her. Uh, Didn't anyone notice those dog sparks must have attracted the monsters? Oh, the puppy! That's not a normal puppy. I want, I want our queen out. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> no! No! It's okay. Everything's chill. Oh, jumping is new and exciting. Oh my goodness, jumping is jumping's crazy. Guys, everyone shut up. We can jump. We can jump. Ah! <gasps> we can double jump. Oh. Ah! <laughs> All right, part 2 is the best thing that's ever happened to this game ever. Bitch, we can double jump. Oh. I got too excited. I jumped out of I jumped out of the game. Yeah, we couldn't jump before. It was very much like um uh uh well, I mean there was very limited instances where you could jump, but think like um Star Rail, you know, when you're exploring and you can't jump, but then you would like, you know, get to the pre-programmed jump location and you could jump. <laughs> but this we can just jump. This is this is exciting. This is the best day of my life. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
Um, real curiosity, my favorite gacha you've ever played. <laughs> I'm playing it right now, baby. <laughs> what is this? Ooh. Astral Aura. Interact to obtain an item that restores the team's astral ring energy. Perfect. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks for the clip bottles. Catch up to the strange dog. Oh my god, we can double jump. I'm so happy. And her cute little noise she makes when she jumps. Okay, that is super not a normal pup. like alien. The alien alien. Oh wait Gogo you like you like Nike? We're 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 big into Nike here. We're a good company. Oh what is oh, we tapped we just Wow That's really exciting. Do this again. Okay, yeah, there we go. Cool! Oh. Wow, that cutscene ruined my really cool, really cool skill. Oh, it was really unfortunate. I thought we were going to do something cool, but then there was a cutscene. <laughs> Alright, Fortitude tutorial. Some enemies have a fortitude meter. Enemy actions cannot be interrupted until the fortitude meter. <laughs> fortitude meter is broken. Try attacking the enemy to reduce the fortitude meter. Coralie's skills can reduce fortitude meter faster. Is that because she has big hammer? Successfully stopping the mixed up attack of enemies inflicts them with fortitude vulnerability. Enemies inflicted with fortitude vulnerability have their fortitude meter reduced faster. Okay, I think. I think I understand. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Wow, she's so fun. Did you see that? <gasps> wow, what is that? Oh, that old is sick. <gasps> wow, they're so fun. I do definitely see the like Oonga Boonga quality of them, but like, shit. <laughs> But they're fun. Uh, well, fortunately, they weren't too strong. Too bad we let that dog get away. What's the deal with that mutt, anyway? I'm more curious about how you knew it was an enemy from the get go. What? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to my sense of smell. Or a sixth sense. Something like that. Anyway, my senses have never betrayed me. Dot 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 for real. Demo. <laughs> But now we've lost track of it, we should decide which direction to take. That way we won't be attrited att att by unknown enemies from staying in one place. What? <laughs> dot dot dot. Is it about finding a way back to my homeland? Is it about finding a way back to your base? Ooh. Base or home? Base or home? Base or home? Home! <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute. No one knows for sure, but in the end, you can only accept the answer given by me, Lady Corley, the Almighty Dark Lord. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> dot, 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 question mark. <laughs> Oh, so there's already an answer. 
あなたたちにユーモアのセンスがないのは分かった<笑>とりあえず本題に戻ろう Yeesh, I guess the sense of humor is one thing you all don't possess. Fine, we'll keep it strictly fact based. Skipping past the spe this specific method, the only valid information we can measure at the moment is the quantum potential. Well, the energy gradient of the space that's trapping us right now. Coily is the Chuni of the squad there. <laughs> She is. I love, I love like the deadpan chuni. It's so funny. Um, very, very small, very small thing. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I don't know if they like didn't color part of her like hair model, but when her like ear flaps flap up, there's like pink under there. I don't think she's actually like an animal character. So I wonder if that's just like part of her like flesh. <laughs> they didn't color. Unless she is, unless she do have ears, unless she's a, a, an animal. <laughs> that would explain why there's spikes over there. Oh my god, is she actually a critter? <gasps> oh my gosh, we'll find out. We'll find out in this episode of <laughs> Okay, Impact 3rd. Well, you can imagine this natural trap as a cave. The stream in the cave flows along the terrain. If we were fish in the water, as long as we keep moving with the flow, we would find a way out of the cave. Otherwise, the cave would have been completely submerged in water. In other words, oh, In other words, as long as we're not at the bottom of an infinite pit, we'll eventually find a, an exit from this space by moving along the energy gradient of the quantum potential well. It's like running your fingers across the walls of a flat maze. That actually makes sense. You know, as you enter that, there is a seal used for sealing power too big. If it becomes unleashed, it will destroy the world. <laughs> not, not her being real chuny. Good night, Anakin. Thank you for stopping in. Go have a wonderful evening. Get some good, good sleep. By then, we might have a way to return to the surface of Mars in the proper world, or enter some unknown bubble universe like Astria's homeland. Mm. <laughs> In short, the outcome isn't certain, but the process is. Things related to quantum anything are always like that. Sure, dog. Whatever you say. <laughs> she's so she's so Honoka coded. Yeah, where there's a will, there's a way. Well, well, that's not wrong. You better not assume things are actually going to be as simple as my summary made them out to be. <laughs> She's like, y'all, y'all need, y'all need the TLDR. I had to explain it generally and metaphorically because getting into the nitty gritty would be too time consuming. <gasps> Welcome back, Red! Blitz the Shepherd sends us a card. Yee! I, I hope you give your, your papa a good pet for us. <gasps> Thank you for buying a dream. 
That's okay. Even if you skip all those steps and leap straight to the answer, we'd still trust you as our companion, right? So <laughs> that That is really cute. So you got on his All right. Demo, you may be to Nanika Hosokoa Nino. Kanojo touch no you, Lyoshi no umi to chicate. Anatova Konoku can go data no umi. Oh, okay. That's this is great. I actually had that question too. I was like, what is the sea of data compared to the sea of quanta? Astria, do you have anything to add? You refer to the space as the sea of data instead of the sea of quanta as they do. Well, I've never encountered a generalized sea of quanta before. If I were to explain it based on the knowledge I learned from textbooks... Our planet was eroded by the great eruption a hundred years ago. Thanks to some kind of divine miracle, my homeland managed to survive and currently exists within the confines of the Sea of Data. Dot 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 for real. Mm. The quantization caused by the great eruption, like those bubble universes created when the Earth's cocoon of finality destroyed the world. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, not the, not the, um, not the end of the lore dump with a quick, hey, look at your communicator. Astria, look at your communicator. <laughs> I love Chini character too, but there's sometimes that type of character sort of made me embarrassed a lot. I'm not able to continue watching the anime, like the peak Chini Bio anime. Oh, that one was so funny. Someday we'll find the strength to find my embarrassment and finish that. <laughs> See, I love it. I live for that. I live for that kind of character. Chunis are um, genuinely one of my favorite like character tropes ever. <laughs> As always, ADHD is diverted by fault. <laughs> me. <laughs> me for real. <gasps> oh, she's so cute! <gasps> Look at her little face! I love her! Unknown caller. <gasps> Hello, can you hear me? Static. More static. Question mark. A different kind of static. Huh. Strangely, I'm disconnected. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Who could it have been? As a cute face. If it's an enemy, surely they wouldn't beat around the bush like this. Hmm. Hmm, maybe the unique nature of this space prevents stable communication with the outside world. That would track with other, um, see quanta stuff we've seen before. <sighs> it would appear all we can do is move on and wait for further contact from them. <gasps> Hi, Lemon! How are you? I'm <laughs> Hmm. Sorry, I got a message. Nice, okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, if only you were someone you knew. As for now, we'll have to wait a little longer. <laughs> Perhaps Coralie, the almighty Dark Lord, can help us in this matter. Oh shit, she can. Oh shit. Oh shit, she really can't help. She has a tail! Sorry. <laughs> Wait, she has a tail! I saw that during, during, 
doing that, doing that cutscene. They are ears. <gasps> okay, so she has a tail and those are confirmed ears. You can see it from this angle that they're pink underneath. Oh my god, how did I not see that she was she was a she was a she was a a furry. <laughs> She has a tail! Oh my gosh. Okay, that was crazy. I am elucidated. Look at it go! Look at that tail! <gasps> Do her ears ever flap up? I need to know. <laughs> like, if she's excited. <laughs> also, peak moving animation. That's really cute. I think it's funny because phrases are like not common in the whole guy back third setting. No, that's why that's why I didn't that's why I was actually quicker to assume that there was a miscolor in the model base than to think that they were real ears because we don't have that many at all i have so many questions i didn't notice this at all during the um prologue chapter that's crazy um it's not a furry it's a cat <laughs> Shh. details 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 <laughs> Okay, let's go. Let's go. Because I can jump. I can jump. This is the best thing I've ever experienced. Oh, there's so much freedom of movement in a jump. This is, this is fun. Oh. Um, that does not detract from, from the fun that I am currently experiencing. Oh, wait, no, I want it. I want it. <laughs> I did not see that there was a hole in the ground. Um, but you know, now I know that there, there can be holes in the ground. Look at them. Cute. Oh, this is so fun. fun. Wow. Okay, now we see her. Sick. Sick, okay. Her ult is so fun. Ah, that little pose she does. Absolutely so cute. Wow. Also love that. That's really cute. So far, my favorite to play is probably Senna. She's so cute. And her, her play feels really like fun and fluid. Although Big Hammer goes kind of hard. Ooh, Marty, since you've played this a lot, um, who of the starter Pokemon, who's your favorite to play with? Wow, that was new and fun. This is fun, but I asked you. Immediately dies. <laughs> wow. What's up here though? Can I go up here? Oh, Senna. She's the one who will do the most damage. That's what it felt like. I wonder, can I... <laughs> can I jump out of bounds? No. Okay. It won't let me... It won't let me... Do... <laughs> I was just like, what if I could jump out of the... Out of the map? No, it's a no. Said, I know what you're gonna do over there. You can't you can't jump out of the map. This is sick though. I love that this aesthetic is not really similar to any of the other Sea of Quantas we've seen. It's cool. Oh, that's a big gap. Ah <gasps> Sacred Portal. You can also hold a dash to can you skate on her yo <gasps> really <gasps> how cool. Okay, I'll try that next time. Sacred portals allow you to move across trains quickly after using the grappling hook, huh? <laughs> the current character will move towards the sacred portal and charge forward slightly before landing. Cool, 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 cool. 
I'll be important to getting real quickly. Oh, sick. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Oh. Wow! Gimme. Oh, nice. Wow! Oh. Wow! Yuki! Oh. <laughs> Damn cutscene ruining my fun. All right, Senna is officially Senna is officially the coolest of the starter Pokemon. This is this is great. <gasps> there it is. Mata? Seriously, that trick again? Is it yo? This track slaps. Is this background music or Honkai Impact? It's it's a game music. Um. Honkai always has the really great soundtracks. I've always really loved them. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Nice. Yeah. Oh. Oh my God! Wait, you can, you can, you can be in air. That's right. Ah, uh, this is really cool. Whoa! I wonder what? Oh, okay, okay. Let me Wow, her skill's really sick. I like that a lot. As long as course of data C and the battle theme is undertow of data C. Thank you! The gate soundtrack, but never as good as you get. I don't know. I don't know. I think they're both pretty good. I personally think that maybe Yohan kind of effects is better. Um, maybe, maybe I'm a little biased, but um, <laughs> I like it a lot. Um, too bad it got away again. Oh, look at Senna's face! Ah! <laughs> I'm lying about it. She's so hanky. Wait, Helia, Helia's really hanky too! I love when their little eyebrows do the, do the like, tink tink thing. Um, when Gacha Music hits different video, I was, has Hongai Back 3 and Nikki in it. Yeah, they both have incredible soundtracks. No, I was really in Sally, but it was okay. <laughs> yeah, I was really in soundtrack is, I want to say, very, very good, but not great, you know? Um, both Give and Nikki is also the freaking emotional damage out of soundtrack, if you think about it. I mean, I feel like you're saying that because you've played that, but the emotional impact that <laughs> Honkai Impact's music has is actually unreal. Like, I have cried multiple times in my car when certain songs come on my playlist. Speaking of Americans, Coralie is probably the first playable American in Honkai Impact 3rd as a member of Anti Entropy. <gasps> That's, she's American! USA, USA, USA. <laughs> oh, she's so angry. I love her. This little thing has caused trouble for us time and time again. Next time I see it, I won't let it escape. <laughs> From its perspective, maybe we're the ones causing trouble. Get out of here with your logic. <laughs> I don't care. It started this. She is me. That's true, but our primary objective is still to escape this place, right? Of course. No, we're not escaping. We're breaking through. Hmm? hmm? More, more monsters. More monsters. Ooh. <laughs> Flashback. How, how come it's us? <laughs> So this unidentified substance is also part of the quantum potential well. You had a great Sinadina voice there. Haha, ha, thank you! 
I feel like uh, you know characters like her that are a little bit more like on the um, like you know the, the like ginky spunky side are, are easier for me. I can either do like ginky cute like that or like really sexy. I'm gonna have to ask you if I ever need someone to dub something. <laughs> I would literally be so honored. <laughs> like genuinely, truly, from the bottom of my heart, so honored. <laughs> yes, based on the data we've measured so far, it's like a rubber plug of a bathtub trapping us in this quantum space. Ah, oh, that's why they broke it. Gotcha, In other words, we've got to find a way to pull it out, like draining a tub. <laughs> that could be a risky move. If we continue with the tub analogy, we could end up like two rubber, rubber ducks struggling in a whirlpool. But we can't rely on the drone left in the base to dig us out of here either. <laughs> uh, Goku, that's so real. It's I that actually when I first started playing Nike, I had no idea that it was known for its emotional impact. I thought it was gonna be a like lighthearted jiggle physics a game, um, you know, shooter gotcha. Whoo, buddy, was I wrong? <laughs> それはそうだよ。Wait, that means she has a pierced animal ear dog ear? Nice. Of course not, but looking at it from another perspective, at least people with quantum adaptability won't starve in the sea of quanta. We have plenty of time to think out our next course of action. <laughs> what? It's scorching hot. Hot? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Hold on, the instrument readings... What did you do to it? <laughs> I didn't do anything! And then it went boom. What on earth is this? I don't know what this image is, but it recorded what happened when we found you. The cube heated up first, then emitted a dazzling light, and after that, the two of you appeared, each occupying one half of the cube, curled up inside like fetuses. Fetus! <laughs> Uh, so that's what it looks like from the outside. Too bad we weren't prepared, otherwise we could have captured it on camera. <laughs> She's so fucking cute. <laughs> really, really has a lot of edge to her character design with the pierced ear, her big pin on her chest, and the safety razor. Okay, is that a safety razor? I thought it looked like that, but it, it, I was like, there's no way. <laughs> She's a little edgy girl. And unlike other games that take a while, Nikkei started the tutorial with emotional damage. Damn, I didn't have a choice of not playing the tutorial crying out now. But isn't it so fun? Like, this story is so great. Mm. A little edgelord. That's beside the point. Something that happened not too long ago is being replayed by the Sea of Quanta right before our eyes. There's no way this is all one big coincidence. Could this also be part of the spatial anomaly? Okay, 
Obviously, and it's also connected to the two of you. <laughs> One popped out of, from a stone, the other fell out from a dream. Based on that alone, I don't know which one of you I should be more wary of. It's not really all that strange to pop out from a stone. After all, this is the sea of data. Since she claims she's not the Senadina I saw in my dreams and doesn't have any memories from before meeting us, couldn't one interpret that as the very definition of popping out from a stone? She's taking this so in stride, this is crazy. Someone manifesting out of the sea of data without rhyme or reason may not be common, but it's not unheard of either. <laughs> You're not being serious, are you? Wait, so did she just appear out of nowhere? How should I put it? Am I not an example myself? Or rather, people like me or her who were originally born from the Sea of Data are quite common in my homeland. So she just she just popped out of the sea of data? Wait, that's actually crazy. <gasps> Wait, what? Apart from knowing a few tidbits of common knowledge from the moment we open our eyes, we're not that different from ordinary folks. Wait, stop. What? What? Oh, Tatoeba. You mean like me being able to communicate with you via speech from the very beginning? Exactly. Aliens might have their own automatic translation devices, but we don't have that kind of superpower. I wonder if Yeah, Dream Seeker was just spontaneously born one day. Vita called her a Star Whisperer, a concept from Durandal. Interesting. Okay. Wow, it's all coming together. <laughs> when you say it that way, the fact that I know my name is Senadina is already strange enough. Now you question that. But if we let our imagination run a little wild, maybe those holo projections appeared because of Astria. Just like she said she saw me in her dreams. Question mark. <sighs> Could it be you have some kind of special ability related to the sea of data that allows you to somehow glimpse into the past and future? Uh, <laughs> Even if that's true... <laughs> it's okay, as long as we keep trying, we'll find out soon enough. Isn't that right, Coily? <laughs> gotta gotta love the optimistic attitude though. If you're referring to identifying the relationship between energy gradients and supernatural phenomenon, then yes, that's true. However, I don't believe that the so-called glimpse can help us in any substantial way. I'm more concerned about when Astria's communicator will get back to normal. 
夢追い人のことを認めたんだねじゃあ<笑> She's <so> 出発しよう<笑> Well, it seems like Coralie also acknowledges the role of Astria. So, without further ado, <laughs> let's set off. I love her. I love her so much. She's so cute. You go, girl. Let's go. Wow, that's cute. はじめよければ終わりよしってね。ま、そうか。バフォーモリアゲルのが特に。それ<笑><笑> Duon Duo Niku Niku Nikwe Nikwe Are you still fixated on attempting to understand me? Sonna Kotoni Omaiwa Inu de Shikan. Um Sen is so pure hearted, a star student Genki girl, right? You can rotate this Oh you can! Oh you have to grab it though. I was trying to rotate it using um See, you can show stick, but you have to grab screen and rotate. Tell me your secrets. Who are you? What is this outfit? <gasps> I wonder if he's one of those like sexy shadowy figures that was teased on Twitter. <laughs> this is pointless. You're just a dog after all. It's a cute doggo with two tails. <laughs> We're trying to squint and see his face. Mm. 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 <clears throat> Cities like this are everywhere. People outside want to come in, and people inside want to go out. Life itself is no ex exception. Dog. <laughs> The dark night holds nothing, but why does it grant me solness? Alright, Edgelord. The wind of oblivion will eventually blow over everything, leaving only a boundless sky in its wake. <laughs> <laughs> He's so funny. Some create meaning within this, while others dissolve it. As for me, I rarely seek balance. <laughs> and all the stars plummet, I will learn to observe an empty sky and feel the solemnity of its crushing darkness. He's more of a chuni than um, Coralie is. The Dark Knight, is that why you're thinking <laughs> like a Batman voice? Yes. Now, who is this person? <gasps> Vanished. Oh, there's someone up there. <sighs> For a very brief moment, I thought that was Void Archive. Because, <laughs> like, all you saw for like a half a second was like blonde ponytail and long white coat, and I was like, fuck, he's. <laughs> So I was gagged so hard for approximately 0.3 seconds. Oh my gosh. Oh, I need water after that jump scare. Can you imagine? Just like, surprise. <laughs> um, instead, we have a tease of a hot lady. How's it going? Can you make contact? Can we rotate this to tell me? You oh, shit. Red eyes? Oh. <gasps> Oh, her outfit's cool. Okay. Dot dot dot. Shinsetsu ne san? Jinsu? Jinsu? One san. We called her One san, though. What? Shirio? Huh? Do you know her? Kanojo wa. She is. Dame da. Hoka no channel nara. 
違う現地調査の結果によるとあの子が失踪した時おひそきプラスしか持ってなかった他のチャンネルでやってみても意味はない Still no luck. Perhaps if we try other frequency bands. No, based on the results of the on site investigation, when she disappeared, she only had the portable version of the communicator with her. Trying other frequency bands won't help. From the last heartbeat signal from the communicator, we can infer that she could have only gone to the Sea of Data. But given this trend. <gasps> If it's the depths of the Sea of Data, finding her will be like finding a needle in a haystack. <laughs> mm -hmm. What is this peak? <laughs> At time, 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 the system briefly connected through her communicator. <gasps> bum, bum, bum. Oh. <gasps> no! Hot lady, come back! Okay, but it seems like we know her and she's from、um, our bubble universe, so I feel like we'll definitely see more of her later. <laughs> Disappeared. <laughs> Someone you know? It appears that she's looking for you. Oh my god, we really are a grad student. Her name is Chen Xu. Chen Xu. Jinju, my senior. We both study the sea of data under the same teacher, though I'm still a newbie. Oh, forget about that for now. What time is it on your communicator? Um, 10 29 a.m. Why do you ask? What? The recent communication record just said 10 17. Congratulations, you've caught up with the live stream in the Sea of Quanta. And if you're lucky enough, Never mind. Let's focus on the first step for now. The worst thing you can do is build up excessively high expectations. <gasps> Not more critters! c o r t l e y looked so mad just then. Oh, <gasps> This looks like a boss. <laughs> oh my goodness. ああ、アメリカ。Wow! Okay, that's cool. Oh, power up hammer, go! Wait, what is. Why, why, why are you protected? Why are you protected? Wow. The critters are under attack. No, but the critters are attacking. Wow, this is、oh, okay. I, I like Senadina so much, she's so fun to play. Come, come here and fight me like. Fight me like a critter. Fight me like a critter. Marvelous. Marvelous. 
Come down here and fight me. Come down here and fight me. I also feel like Senadina's like um air battle feels a little bit better than um others. <gasps> yeah, take that critter. <gasps> cool good, thank you for the lurk. When you see an orange horse on a line, that's an attack that can only be evaded by jumping. Oh, new commanding for Barton. Thank you so much. That's so helpful. Okay, look at this pup. Why is this pup so sketchy? <gasps> Narrator. Even the narrator is stumped. <laughs> there was once a saying. In the vast expanse of the universe, the wheel of destiny ceaselessly turns, ensnaring all existence within its grasp. Yet, the truth diverges. The wheel of destiny, grand and pure, remains untainted by mortal affairs. In reality, all things exist, only within the penumbra, penum, penum, penumbra <laughs> which it casts. Under most circumstances, these shadows suffice unambiguous to the last detail, for they have to, unless, unless, of course, some extraneous element forces its way in, giving the shadow of that great wheel, the greatness that slaughters all, a chance to, a chance to what? Oh, a chance to what? Wait, just like this very moment? Wait, what happened? Wait, a chance, a chance to what? <laughs> we were robbed. <laughs> oh, look at what it's supposed to say. Thank you. That's so funny. And you know, that's happened a couple times. Um... I feel like in the translation, it was just like too long to fit in the text box that they had. That's so funny. Ooh, observe your surroundings first. Ah, oh, the thinking pose. Ah, <laughs> the pup. This, this little guy. So sketchy. What is it trying to do? <gasps> Did you see the little glasses push? That was so cute. Where, where is this place? Fuck, oh, that was so cute. Investigate the substance. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, don't lie to me, don't lie to me. We're sinking into the sea. The whole world is sinking. I saw it with my own eyes. What? Even if it's them, they they couldn't. They couldn't. Keep your so Sorry, but I can't say anything right now. Just keep your fear alive. Only then can the shadow let you survive here, even if only temporarily. The shadow? Maybe, mayhaps the sing? Mayhaps the sing? Oh. He kinda. Why is he kinda thick? <laughs> Like, not from the side, but like, damn. Why he kind of, why? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> like, he, he kind of, he kind of thick. Like, listen, I was just trying to look at this like crazy shadow thing that's happening. And it was just, it was just so, it was just so out there. <laughs> Caked up on a Tuesday. 
Oh, unless there is a factor outside the world that forcibly breaks in. Forcibly breaks in the great wheel, the power that dominates everything, the chance to unmistakably come together in a way that subverts all fate. Gotcha, thank you. Thank you so much. Man, can you believe it cut off like that? Ooh, another chateau. <laughs> oh, more critters. I've lost contact with my previous companions. <laughs> I'm no fighter, so whatever I do, I cannot let the monsters defeat me. <gasps> A new voice? It's her! Leave <laughs> smile! <laughs> what an entrance! <gasps> Look at her! <gasps> Did she come in and save us? Oh my gosh! So cute, my beloved! <laughs> that dust bag from the other room. That's okay, she deserves it. <gasps> wow, look at the smile, look at her! The way, okay, so the way the, act the official Twitter posted this image is one of the, like, you know, chapter screenshots. Um, I, um... <laughs> I've been obsessed with her since this this particular image. And down goes the volume. Sorry! <laughs> sorry, sorry. I promise. We'll we'll go back to chill immediately. What do you think, friend? <gasps> Despite the meticulously polished appearance, the strange phantom had an air of opulence about it. They gave her the Madin smile. They really went for the Gyaru vibe. They did. I love it. Down bad as you know, so stop. <laughs> Not me having a, a signature down bad noise. Right now, everything was gloomy, dilapidated, and lifeless. Except for the lurking monsters, it was hard to find any other signs of life. However, when the girl was there, she felt she was in a busy street on a summer night, waiting for a friend who was running late. <laughs> oh, it's really cute! I love her! Oh no, you're not scared silly like the others, are you? Okay, but also, I feel like she's not really here. Because her voice kind of has that, like, um... Uh, like robot-y, communicator-y vibe to it, and she's a little glowy, so I don't know if she's actually here, here. <laughs> da, da, da. You're... What do you want? I want you. How should I explain it? Some people think I'm a fraud, but that's only because they themselves are frauds. Ah! She cool. Some people think I'm crazy because they're the crazy ones. Ooh! <laughs> 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 but if I were to put it in my own words, I would say I'm a businesswoman. <laughs> so you're actually paying attention to details, thank the Lord. <laughs> I feel like this one's so obvious though, right? Question mark? Dot dot dot. What do you want? <gasps> Yo, we have been flirted with since moment one of part two. This is this is the best. Part two is incredible. Do you even need to ask? Obviously, I can't be hitting on you, but you are. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
playing the hero and rescuing the damsel in distress. Eh? That can work too, but I can tell even at a glance that you, like me, aren't that shallow. These days some youngling TikTokers ain't got no attention span, so... <laughs> Actually, I want to talk to you about some serious matters. Right now? Right now? As we're surrounded by foes? Oh, the way she said that. Do you believe in fate? My friend. The kind that exists from the moment you're born determines all factors of your life while you're alive and won't change a bit even after your death. Tell me, do you believe in it? <gasps> Question mark. I have no idea who you are or what you want. But if you really have nothing else to do... Oh, please. Do you feel like what I'm discussing right now is frivolous? Look behind you. Look. Look. <gasps> <laughs> Full body image, yes! <laughs> right in front of your eyes. Question mark. This is what I call fate. You probably... <gasps> You probably have no idea why you ended up here. And yet... <gasps> You're destined to die here. This disaster in front of you is called the Great Eruption. Considering the skills she possessed, it was clear that silence was not the answer she was looking for. What is... what is it with today? Why do I keep encountering people who treat their own lives so flippantly? Okay, okay, okay. So she's also sitting in... The shadow. Is this a memory? How is she speaking to us in a memory? Like like what we saw earlier with those two dudes? Mm. She could be discussing tax policy in Tonga in 1999 and I'd be locked in on her. <laughs> Actually though, she, like she could be talking about anything and I'd be like, yes ma'am, I'm sad. Anything you want. <laughs> A great opportunity has presented itself right in front of you. Yes, it has. <laughs> opportunity? Sure, your luck isn't that great at the moment. However... Oh, she's cool, cool. You just so happen to come across someone who makes a living by peering into the secrets of the heavens and occasionally tweaking them a little bit. Yeah, I am. <laughs> so, are you interested in letting me alter your destiny? What is she talking about? <gasps> buds! Hi, Buds! How are you doing? Da, da, da. Oh, she's... she's stacked. Huh? These monsters... 
Are they afraid? She's cool. Uh, it seems you're more of the no nonsense type. Someone with a distaste for formalities. In that case, let me get straight to it and show you some samples. Ooh. Can you send me luck through Honka to get Ein? Well, okay, hear me out, folks. She is going on the standard banner. So, like, even if you don't get her this round, <laughs> there's always next time. And forever, because she's in the standard pool. <laughs> but I send you all the luck. All the luck that I can muster. Powered by the same Gyaru vibes. <laughs> Gyaru to Gyaru. Wishing you big luck. Esteemed guest, though I don't know your exact preferences. <gasps> but. <sighs> I've always liked places with a bit. A pizzazz, I don't know what she said. I was too, I was too, I was too gagged by her. Wow. She's beautiful. <laughs> the morning clouds did not return to the mountains, leading to days of torrential rain that flooded the land. I'm gonna get higher on solar raid without spending money. <laughs> oh, hustle and bustle, thank you. I, like, I was reading the line and then I was just so gagged by her. <laughs> That was such a good shot. Why is it so short? <laughs> Why is it so short? The fox's white fur is enough to ward off the cold, but what of those without clothes? How would they endure the harsh winter? I have so many questions. What just happened? Is that okay? It was a memory. <gasps> but that is that her little little thingy though. <laughs> this looks exactly like what the person held earlier. Did I just have another dream? Or is this a dream within a dream? Classic Honkai music. I love it! Or perhaps... Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it. Mine now? Oh! I got a thing! Gadget, Shadow, Shadow Major, wah, wah, wah! You obtained something quite remarkable on your first arrival. Check out the gadget you obtained just now. Activating the Shadow Major and it will enhance its abilities. <gasps> cool. <gasps> cool. Tap on a Shadow Major and try it out. When a Shadow Major is activated, so the corresponding stat bonuses. Not a hodo. Not a hodo, not a hodo. I remember being so scared at the time that everything was going to change, but the story is so Honkai 3. No, actually, <laughs> real. So honestly, one of the reasons I put off starting part two was I wanted to let it cook a little bit and let people get through it because I was also very scared that it was going to be too different. But people had really positive reactions to it, and so far, it still feels just like Honkai Impact, you know? Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Why do I have a dot? Oh, all the events in the sandbox are listed on this page. Sick. How is it different so far? Should I not touch this? Don't click. Oh, okay, I'll go back. <laughs> there was a glowing red dot, and I was. <laughs> I was. Oh, it's chapter 3 EX. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that's one of the big problems about um, the open world levels, if you're not super caught up with it, and then they release new content. I remember, what was it? I want to say it was um, 
heck, the very first moon chapters when we were, when we had that open world, I had so much spoiled for me because um, I got to it a little late and they had more stuff put out already that they put on the map and in the like, que in, like the quest logs and I was like, bruv, <laughs> bruv, Ugh, I was so mad. Mm. Super super spoilers. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I would have definitely clicked that and then like, um, clicked through like everything in there. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, me books. <gasps> me books. Okay, perfect. That was me in a Lucene realm. I wasn't caught up in them. Yeah, they're so bad at it. And how is it different so far? Honestly, not much. Like, if I had to compare my impressions right now of part two against part one, I would say it's just a little bit more fluid, a bit more open-worldy than usual, but, like, not so shocking for the context of, um, you know, everything else that Honkai Infect Third has been. Uh, different battle mechanics, and, um, yeah, I don't know. But the vibes are still there immaculately. Like this is 100% the same game and I'm so happy about that. In any case, Long Kai Back 3 has always been about the emotional journey along the way. Exactly, exactly. Like it's always been about the story and the feelings. <gasps> Baggy of immaculate mac and cheese. Oh, that sounds so good right now. That sounds so fucking good. <gasps> Bibi! We must save her! <laughs> She's so cute! Shut up, I love her so much. Anyone? Anyone? <gasps> But we just established that we are hers, and she is ours. This is it. But you only have one Astral of P right now. <gasps> yeah! Oh! I did really come. <gasps> Why did she feel so Elysian in that moment? Oh, was that that, that line thing? Okay. It's craft mac and cheese with three types of shredded cheese out of Oh, paprika and pepper. Stop, that sounds so good. Wow, this, that was incredible. Finally, all cleared up. Astria, are you alright? <laughs> I'm all good. Things did get a little hairy back there, but I got lucky and was saved by a total stranger. <laughs> Sinidia took her time remembering. No, right? Like, so I don't know. I don't think she actually remembered, though. I think sh her personality might just be that, like, happy go lucky. Like, I don't know if she actually remembered. I think she just kind of, like, was like, eh. You know, as she has said, there's another me, so I guess there's another me, and another me gave me this thing, so <laughs> I'll put my full trust in it. That's kind of the vibe I got, but we'll, TBD, we'll see. Mm. I think you done that. Yeah, like these monsters, she was adept at moving in the shadows. She saved my life, then vanished into thin air. Hmm, sounds more like my kind. Speaking of which, you haven't come across Coralie and the others since you fell into this place, have you? Others? I mean... <laughs> there's only one other, there's only Coralie and Elia! <laughs> but others! Um, 
Any, mini, me. Sun is the kind of character who can just read the room and go with the flow naturally. That's what, yeah, that's kind of what it felt like. I don't think she's super remembered. Maybe she also means a dog. Oh. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> poor Elia. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I haven't. I'm me neither. I haven't ventured out of the monster heap the entire time I'm here. It's a good thing you came here and spread some good luck around. It seems that when we passed through those black substances, we got completely scattered. Yeah, so what exactly is that? And what's going on with us now? This place looks really eerie. It's so different than what I imagined. And what have you imagined? <laughs> I figured there would at least be some locals hanging around. <laughs> you know, lining up to Kratos, throwing a grand fanfare and sumptuous feast. <laughs> and then they realize that we're actually a unique species and end up worshiping, worshiping us as gods or something. <laughs> Wait, don't tell me. This is your hometown? <laughs> Definitely not. That's so. Still, this place does seem oddly familiar. It feels like I'm finally seeing those houses my grandparents used to talk about with my own eyes. Houses that have already been torn down. Um, Waddle is. Oh, thank you for the hydrate! Oh my gosh, Marty, that's so funny. I love. Okay, that's something I really love about. Um, you know, the writers of Honkai Impact is how they are able to weave in things like that, that build to a greater something that then you look back on and you're like, oh, it was there the whole time. <laughs> yeah, do you even have a mother then? Something like that, I suppose. After all, I wasn't born from my mother's womb. <gasps> she got closer to us. <laughs> if that's the case, as long as your intuition is right. <gasps> the girl suddenly stopped in her tracks and looked around, checking for any strange sounds. Hmm. Gosh, even her top looks like Alicia's top. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> Not me desperately looking for Alicia everywhere. Um, as long as your intuition is right, then we're safe for the time being, right? After all, this is where your grandparents used to shack up, so there shouldn't be anything too nasty in store for us. Maybe it is Alicia, stop. <laughs> Don't give me that hope. But also, there can only be one Alicia. There is only one. She's unique. Alicia's ancestor. <laughs> Show me your ears. Show me your ears right now. I was being metaphorical. I'm not even sure if this is another one of my dreams, an actual quantum space, or even another world. <laughs> hmm. 
Since I'm here, it must be some kind of reality. Otherwise, you should have seen that other version of me. Remember that Alicia wasn't born with elf ears? I know. <laughs> I know, I know. It would just be funny. <laughs> Come to think of it, I really want to meet her. Hopefully there will be a chance in the future. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, I've got plenty of questions I'd like to ask her myself. Right? Like, what are we? <laughs> what What are we? <laughs> After that dance, what are we? Alright, what about your communicator from earlier? Still no response? Nope. Mm. <laughs> I see. Looks like that's the only way, huh? Question mark? Yeah! Let's go find Helia and Coralie ourselves. When you're in an unfamiliar territory, it's always best to find your own people and stick together. Oh, right. If we ever cross paths with that mysterious person who saved you, we'll have to thank her properly. The killers, are we human or are we dancer? Are we human or are we hersher? <laughs> you're right. これって、すごく良いものの見解は大体一致するってことかな。へへ、クリーンマインズ、ディンクライク。じゃあ、早速だけど、この辺りで外に通じてる道は一本だけ。もう見ておいたから、そこを歩いて行けば、きっと間違い
I think we'll definitely get a, a next story in the Genshin world. Wow, what is this? Wow! Oh, it's a, it's a whole thing, isn't it? Wow, okay. Oh, this is, this is thick. This is a thick open world, I see. We're in the dark land. Excellent. あの犬はどうしたのかな私たちをここに連れてきたのに、また姿を消したよね。こっちに来てから、あの犬は私を一目見て、すぐにどこかに行った。でも、隙間を開ける行動から見ると、もしかしたら、押し入ったのは私たち
結構体力がある方だね老朽の道は日々険しくなっていってるからうちも困ってるんだ She was so different in that like dream we had or that, that vision thing You ran all that way without breaking a sweat Your stamina is an admirable The roads at Ling 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 Chi Ling Chu Ling Chu Ling Chu Yeah Are getting tougher to walk Even I had a hard time Banji Juncho Banji Juncho Chotto Hitoiki Tsuite Mo Ii Fortune favors me. Just let me catch my breath. Okay, you do that, but who exactly are you? <laughs> it appears as if you're still clueless. Right, I didn't have time to introduce myself earlier. みんなはうちのことを小弱と呼んでる。家はこの近くの琥珀街だよ。Yeah. People call me Sunkyu. I live nearby on Amber Street. I like that she says that like we know where Amber Street is. Like, yeah, casually. Amber Street, totally. <laughs> Why do we look so unamused? <laughs> 黙ったままじっと見つめないで。怖いんだけど。<laughs> Mir, can you say something? You're starting to weird me out. Hey, don't overthink it. I wonder what happened to her today, seeing people in dreams before actually meeting them. When she saw me, she had the same reaction. Astria recounted the past events which had transpired. <laughs> the morning clouds did not return to the mountains, leading to days of torrential rain that flooded the land. The fox's white fur is enough to ward off the cold. But what of those without clothes? How would they endure the harsh winter? The world is truly marvelous. <coughs> oh, wait, Braggy! Are you actually earning points now? Did you get it figured out? Oh, baby. No, girl. No, me. A shout to me. Jitsua. So they were Hakunejo, Miney. Older woman. To be honest, that's a line I found in an ancient book over a hundred years ago. I haven't mentioned it since I stopped interacting with outsiders. <gasps> Older woman, Hikikomori? <gasps> but time is not a major issue. Compared to that, one of you with the utmost confidence claims to have sprung out of a rock not long ago. Meanwhile, the other proclaims to have had a dream where she followed a dog from a bustling city to this backward place. <laughs> それぞれ独特なところがあるんだね。ベン、ビカーン。お、ワードス。あ、no you you um you remove the ban。My dear Waddles, I I went to delete, I went to go ban them too, but I think you clicked it right after I clicked it, and so you actually removed the ban. <laughs> I'll send you, I'll send you what I see in case you don't see it. The betrayal, the betrayal by my own mod. I kid, I kid. I kid, I kid. I know you're just trying to help. 
<laughs> mm. Ha ha ha, I must say you two are quite special. But it is of little importance, for we have always embraced the chaos. Ah, oh, yes, embrace the chaos. After all, even yesterday we were chasing. <gasps> Wait a minute, this dog you mentioned, what did it look like? Did it have two tails? No. Now that you mention it, it did actually. Why do you ask? Well... But no one could have touched that thing. Even if Duo... I'm just gonna call it Duo. Duo wanted to, it wouldn't be possible. Doniguru? 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 Ah! Nandemonayo! You're being sketchy! It's nothing. We did lose a pet around here. Demo, Stono Maida to Mitamegasco Stokshuninaruna. Hm, Anta Tachiga Mitano to Onajija Nahazdeo. But you see, whenever it manifests in front of people, it always appears unusual to them. I'm afraid it's not the same as what you've seen. Haha. Oyoshi. <laughs> Waddles on the way to kneecap the bots. <laughs> yeah. Oyoshi. That's rather suspicious. She's so sketchy, I love it. I love a dangerous woman. <laughs> Do you have some secrets around here? <laughs> so, what, what is your plan now? Are you still going to look for your missing friends? Of course. Since you're a local, maybe we can help each other out. <laughs> this is so funny. We have someone who acquired godly powers from a dream. Someone who came from nowhere but fights really well. Someone with strange ears who's knowledgeable in stranger fields. And even an extraterrestrial who may seem ordinary at first, cla at first glance but is surprisingly active. Oh, ah, <gasps> Zodiac. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for gifting to Neko. Thank you. Oh, God, with Neko. We love Neko. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> when you think about it, you're pretty lucky to make our acquaintance. I was just born today, teehee. <laughs> I mean, and then there's us, who was like, Oh yeah, don't worry, I was birthed from the Sea of Data, no biggie. And I also talked to a dream god, and now I have god powers, it's fine. <laughs> Ensuring their safety is indeed the top priority. However, after that... <laughs> If everything goes smoothly, I want to return to Oxy as soon as possible. According to the holo projection from the Sea of Data, I am considered to be missing over there. I'm sure everyone is worried. Helping you find your friends is doable, but helping you get back will be a bit tricky. Question mark. <laughs> I don't mean to scare you, but no one has ever been able to leave this place or enter it of their own volition. Well... 
同じところに100年もいるわけないだろう。ゆこのどこがいいって言うんだ。<笑> You've seen how strong my yearning for adventure is. How can you expect me to sit in one place for a hundred years? This place is dry as dirt. Oh, me. Didn't you listen of your own volition? That means we were like forced in here. You just said no one could enter. If that's true, how did we end up here? So, that's right. I'm going to say. あんたたちがここに来たのは確実に事故だと思うでもなぜ事故が起きたのかを説明すると話が長くなる Your arrival here is indeed unexpected but if we were to explain what makes it so unexpected that would take quite some time とにかくこの場所が存在するのは何かを外に出さず別のものが入ってこないようにするためなんだ In any case, the existence of this place is meant to keep certain things from getting out and to prevent some other things from getting in. That's so sketchy. Question mark. つまり、あんたたちが何度も見たあの黒い影のことさ。ただ、どうして影なのか、影は何のためにって話になると、いろいろ関わってくるから、安定した場所を探してゆっくり話そう。I mean, those dark shadows you've been encountering repeatedly, why they were shadows and what they came for, that is also a long story. We better find a safe place before we discuss it in detail. Ah, yeah, incoming Lord Dump. As I'm sure you've noticed along the way, this area is quite desolate. As the saying goes, where there's a will, there's a way, and spending time sharpening an axe will save time chopping wood later. Inquire to who, though? Who, who else is here? Once I'm back on Amber Street, I'll make sure to inquire about the whereabouts of your friends. Amber Street? Oh. Bucky, it's time to go to bed. Let's keep yourself up for something for something that's done. Hey, everybody. Ah, glad you finished whatever you needed to do, Bucky. Now go get some sleep, and I'll see you next time. Have a good night. So, that's it. 人が多い場所で話を聞くのは効率的だと思う。意見が一致したみたいだね。Seems like we've reached an agreement. あ、そうだ。自己紹介がまだだったよね。私はセナディア。セナって呼んで。By the way, I haven't introduced myself yet, have I? I'm Senadina, but you can call me Sena. 覚えたよ。あんたは Got it. What about you, my friend? <laughs> Just call me Astria. I love that she said a whole ass like introduction in Japanese, and we just got just call me Astria. <laughs> um, good night, Archie. Thank you for being here. I hope you get some good rest. この場所は初めてだからよろしくね<笑> Delighted to make your acquaintance <笑> Thanks for the bad bets guys And thank you for the high jade archie Yeah go get your eep on やめてよ急にかしこまるなんてむしろうちはよそ者にもっと会いたいくらいだ Oh, come off it. Why are you being so polite all of a sudden? I'm actually looking forward to meeting more outsiders like you. She casually squatted down, staring inquisitively at the dark shadow not far away. Um, in my case, I'll stay for a while because in 40 minutes I'll have to go, unfortunately. Aww. Well, <laughs> I will treasure these 40 minutes left that we have together tonight. Red, I'm Astria, the great power of level I all English. I'm just Astria. <laughs> No, but that's what it felt like. Oh shit. Zapos, Zapos. 
一言や二言で説明できないような影だしあ別の視点から言えばやつらこそが老朽の本体なのかもしれないねあ、um, ラインチューは has been has always been a dreadfully dull place the only thing we have that's out of the ordinary are these inexplicable shadows then again if you look at it from another perspective maybe they are actually linked to itself yeah she got leg she got a lot of leg but this 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 is reminiscent of what how of when we first saw her but different different expression question mark no cute Thank you, shadows. So, yeah, Does that mean? Ma, ma, can I come back to the ekara? I have so many questions. Narita Chiva Fukuzatsu Dakedo, Tanju Natokoromo Arunda. So many questions. <laughs> All right, don't overthink it. If you're really curious about these shadows, I'll take you on a little detour to broaden your horizons. Despite their complicated origins, they are relatively simple in other ways. Go, go. <laughs> Let's get going. Uh, what? Oh, the girl tries to stand, but instead swayed precariously for seconds before returning to her previous position, thoroughly frustrated. <gasps> Did her legs fall asleep? Question mark. What is it? Your legs have fall asleep. That's so funny. Girly, didn't you just say you were over a hundred? How strange. Am I getting old? We must all try our best to age gracefully. We should reduce our seafood intake. Maybe take extra precautions against osteoporosis. Stop. I'm gonna go with osteoporosis. That's so funny. So I don't think it's quite time for that yet. Accidents happen from time to time. Anyway, let's get going. Oh, no, I'm I'm oh, I can switch. Oh, so you walk in the monayo. Mushiro, so no gakukana? Mmm, so you ahead with a great eruption, too. Treasure chest. Treasure chest. We keep running by all the treasure chests, and it makes me sad. I want to open them. I want to open them. What are you? Say, she came in, so a bunya te, she say gets it. Ah. What does that feel very Genshin y? They sure do love their themes. Oh, so sorry, I totally didn't read that. Uh, nails? Are they really used for pinning shadows to the ground? You could say that, but more importantly, we harness the power of the shadows to pin down the entire world. Ooh. Question mark. Uchigahanashita do you remember the great eruption I mentioned earlier? That happened over a hundred years ago. In the simplest terms, the whole world we knew became bubbles and shadows of its former self overnight. <laughs> oh, 
ここまで言えばもうわかると思うけど。That means some places have more bubbles, whereas some places have more shadows. You can probably guess where I'm going with this. そう。影の部分が他のところより多いなら、<笑>それを存分に利用してみんなの生活を守らなきゃ。すなわち。<笑> That's right. Since we have more shadows here than anywhere else, we have to make good use of them and protect the familiar way of life. In other words, Defying fate and changing destiny. So, what's the deal with this place exactly? うちらつまり老朽の住人はそれを認めなかった<笑>だから影の力を使って運命を変えたんだうん<笑> Didn't I cover that already? The great eruption was going to destroy the entire world But the Lan Kyu people refused to accept that So we used the power of shadows to defy fate Aww, Kim Cody, what's up? Hope everyone is having a fantastic night. Thank you! I hope you're having a great evening too. I think they made a bold choice to the first Honkai their arc in a dark and gloomy era. Yeah, right? Like it kinda got it kinda got crazy right off the bat. Wow. <laughs> thank you so much for the follow. Oops. Wow, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Welcome in. Sorry I dropped something. Don't mind me. Wow. そう言われても、yeah, この世界の泡がどうなってるのかわからないよ。あ、ここって世界の泡だよね。But we still don't understand what this bubble universe is all about. Wait, we are actually in a bubble universe, right? Hmm? Hmm? わかった。あんたは学生だね。<laughs> Called out. I see. Are you a student? うちら琥珀街の人間は100年も閉じ込められてるけど昔の世界がどんな感じだったか少しは覚えてるよ。Don't underestimate the people who live on Amber Street. Even though we've been trapped for over a hundred years, we still have some memories of what the world used to be like. 昔は学生というやつらがいたんだろ毎日学校という場所に行っていろんな先生に質問して答えを得る。Ah,、uh, there used to be people called students, right? They would go to a place called school every day so that various kinds of teachers there could answer their questions. Ah, <laughs>、uh, they shifted into another dimension reality to avoid the consequence of reality. See, I think this city, from what I think I understand, took the brunt of everything else so that other places could be safer. Um, methinks. I think that's what she's trying to tell us. <laughs> Thank you, Red, for the glasses and the Nyastria. <laughs> Thank you. You have a cute model. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm quite proud of it. <laughs> cooking. Yeah, let me cook. Let me cook. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Because <laughs> she, she made it sound like the people there refu like, refused to. Accept it, and、um, since they have all the shadows and they pin it down, I think that's what she's trying to get at. So, you yatsura wa nehori hahori kikuno ga ski de. Those people were relentless in their pursuit of knowledge. Tatoeba, naze ichinen wa ju hach kagetsu arunoka. Hats naze ichinen wa sanju nanaichi mo arunoka. Sanju hachinichi mo aru tsuki wa dona terunoka. We're really on Mars. So many questions. I don't know how many years. Like, why a year has 18 months? Why a month has 37 days? How come there is a month with 38 days? <laughs> Or why clocks move clockwise instead of counterclockwise? <laughs> the list goes on. <laughs> Guys, we're on Mars. This is... <laughs> 18 months is crazy. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. そう考えると、夢追い人は本当に質問好きだよね。じゃあ、少女先生、さっきの運命を変えるっていう言葉の意味を説明してもらえる ?Now that you mention it, Astria does seem to enjoy asking questions. So, 
Professor Sankyu, can you explain to us what you really mean when, you, when talking about defying fate and changing destiny? I already covered this. It's about resisting the Great Eruption, which is a cataclysmic event that would eliminate everything in the world. Luckily, the Shadows here are particularly skilled at creating something out of nothing. Bum, bum, bum. You pray for players as a ten of these. Really? I feel like it's obvious. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm just like barely getting what's going on. And something you've had always wished for is to have more extensive lore. Like, I feel like Salt Snow was kind of barren for info. And now we have it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I really wished in um, that little arc that we got um, that there was a little bit more to it. Because it did feel just like very surface level. You know, this is feeling much more built out. And I like it. Also, King Cody, that's a really cute, <laughs> really cute emote. いや、厳密に言うとそうでもないけど、あんたたちは影と器の関係を知らないみたいらしい。あ、いやいやいや。オッケー、オッケー、オッケー。Um, that's not technically accurate, but you don't look like you know anything about the relationship between shadow sh shadows, shadows and vessels. We don't professor tell me. <laughs> Question mark. Well, as the saying goes, seeing is believing. <laughs> that escalated so quickly. <laughs> that escalated so quickly. What just happened? Oh my gosh. Um, it's also had a great characters, but the world didn't feel very flesh out. Real! Yeah, we really got a Kya Toskite. Wow! Oh, look at our little icon! Goodness, four hours to am here, and all from watching anime girls being played by the anime girl. <laughs> I know. I should have known it would take this long because I was reading it out loud. Um. <laughs> Dream of loss, an anomaly where monsters emerge. Dangerous as it is, if you have what it takes to tame it, there are quite a few benefits to be had. Oh, however, taming shadows must be done step by step. Why not start with the weak ones? Hell yeah, brother. Let's go. Yeah, let's give it a try. Well, bring along the gadget and gather your team. Now we're fully prepared to set off. Oh. Yeah, hell yeah. Let's go. <gasps> Wait, they're kind of cute. Look at them. They're kind of cute. Oh, that's so 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 cute. Oh, why are, why are the monsters here kind of like cute? Like, like they just look like, like little buddies. Who are they baddies? There we go. <laughs> Victory! Oh, I didn't got materials. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Gosh. よくやった。さあ、夢追い人。どこで拾ったのかはわからないけど、少し借りるよ。Is <laughs> she just saying that? <laughs> well done. Here, Astria, let me borrow this thing you found from who knows where. Do you really not recognize it? All the shadows in the in the great land heed my command. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh, is this another thing? 
<gasps> another gadget! Oh, wait, installed in gadget. It allows the deployment of a field. The wickets within the field will automatically attack enemies in the field. Oh, cool, okay. Oh, the gadget has undergone an incredible change! <gasps> gadget, shadow of remnant. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. I almost forgot we need to go back. What do you mean we need to go back? Oh, enhance. Okay. I swear if this has. Ah! Now! <laughs> Did they really put artifacts in my. in my whole guy in that? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> oh, it's so annoying. <laughs> Oh, it's low-key annoying, but that's okay. Usually things like this aren't super impactful to the main story, but if you're like, oh my gosh. Oh, oh sick! Um, but if you... Things like that, things like this, and especially in, like, I think the open world stages, they're really built for if you're keeping up with the story. Um, that's so funny. But... Usually you can just blast through the main campaign and not really worry too much about that. <laughs> Unless you want the sicky sick rewards. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, destructible crates. Oh, sick. Thank you, Marty. <laughs> yeah, I can get crates now. Excellent. No. How about it? Do you feel a little stronger? Hmm, should I say yes or no? Well, there must be some improvement. After all, everything in Lan Kyu is closely tied to these shadows. Question mark. It's a bit complicated to explain in detail, but as the saying goes, better late than never. Today happens to be the day of the fear gathering. What is the fear gathering? Fear gathering. Oh, fair gathering. Fair catering? Kaishu?でも、確かに言葉遊びの要素も含まれてる。さっきも言ったけど、老朽では何事も等価交換が重要。Kaishu というのは、その影たちと取引する方法なんだ。they imported a lot of Genshinisms into part two, probably to hopefully make new players feel at home. I wonder if it really helped. Yeah, that's really interesting because I feel like not a lot of... I haven't heard of any people who strictly played Genshin going to Honkai Impact because of part two. Um, I really think they should have like, you know, doubled down on people who have like played the game and are returning to it because I think that was the biggest draw of part two is getting people to come back to the game who maybe like gave up on the first part um but I do wonder how many new players part two was able to gather I'd be very curious to see a breakdown of the demographics <laughs> player survey who um it's fear gathering, although I can understand why you misheard it. As I mentioned earlier, in Lin Q, you can't beat an equivalent exchange, and the fear gathering is the way we do business with these shadows. I definitely think they've learned a very painful lesson in this first arc. We'll see what they do in the future. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> like, I understand, you know, I think the draw of trying to tap into their Genshin and Star Rail player base and get more people to come to in, like, uh, Genshin? Jeez. <laughs> Honkai Impact? But I... I feel like a lot of people are really intimidated by the bulk of story that you need to get through 
Um, so I don't think it really worked. <laughs> I think actually the best thing they've done for marketing for Honkai Impact was having Acheron in Star Rail um, and the way people freaked out when um, that that we, that that trailer dropped of her. We saw that crazy lore and everyone was like, it's the May that Kiana didn't save. And everyone was like, what do you mean? <laughs> and then like lore bombs started happening. Um, so I think what they could really do is, you know, lean a little bit more into crossovers like that. Um, and like, you know, keep it good at like, you know, subtle enough, but obvious enough that people can like quickly point them out, but also, you know, not make it affect their original stories. But that's just me. And you know what? Hoyo didn't ask me, so. <laughs> Hoyo didn't ask me. They should though. Who's May? What do you mean, who's May? <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Don't get me waddles. I knew it. I knew you were just... <laughs> you know who May is. Yeah, but there was a, um, a May XP in Star Rail Akron. Um, and she... Her... I don't know this is going to be spoilers for both, I think. Uh... Honkai Impact and Star Rail, but um, so the trailer of Acheron had a lot of really, really strong parallels to um, May in Honkai Impact, um, but the biggest of which made it seem like Acheron was the May who, um, May who Kiana didn't save, and the May who failed to save the world. And that's kind of what made Akron so like beautifully tragic, um, and it was a really really fun parallel to see, you know, like the hope that Honkai Impact has and how it saved May, and May well Kiana saved May, May saved Kiana, and they both saved the world, you know, um, but that didn't happen for Akron, and her world was subsequently destroyed. And she herself was also destroyed. And so it's really, really fun to see that. And it really meant a lot, I think, to players who had played both stories so far. Um, and, you know, their excitement made people who weren't aware of the connection aware of the connection. And I know people who started playing Honkai Impact strictly because they were so curious about that connection and about Acheron and about who the fuck this May Senpai person was. <laughs> um, but yeah, 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 it was cool. All right, trailer, are we talking about the Akron one? We were, we were. How is Hoyo juggling so many IPs at once? <laughs> Hire more people. <laughs> um, when they get sad, they wipe their tears with $100 bills, real. Um, question, would you recommend Honkai or Genshin? Oh, honestly, both are so thick at this point that it's really hard to... Um, I think recommend both to someone who kind of wants to pick up a lighter, <laughs> a lighter story. <laughs> uh, but of the two, I would always recommend Impact over or Honkai Impact over Genshin, um, strictly because I think the story will always be so good <laughs> in Honkai Impact. Not to say that Genshin's isn't incredible, but um, you know me. Originally, how you were going to make Akron of the Haunt. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I think they definitely kept so many of the mysteries part two really close to the chest for the first six months, which was difficult for skeptics. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, in the gameplay trailer, even I who doesn't play the game made the connection. Besides, I also heard so many theories of the sort. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like the fan base hype was so big surrounding it that it just like infected, um, you know, people who don't play. Um, and really, I don't know, it brought attention to Honkai Impact in a way that I feel like a lot of their other marketing hadn't in a while. <laughs> um, so they did great. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Recommend. Doing business with shadows? Can shadows actually communicate like people? Ma. Ima 
Yeah, because also oh, what's interesting about part two so far is that I see the mechanics that they added that they were trying to, you know, reel in, you know, the Genshin players of the fan base. But at the same time, the story so far is so Honkai Impact and so thick and already kind of crazy that I don't know if someone new to the game would retain it based on that alone you know because there's been so many reference to things that you know if you're just coming in to part two you don't you have no idea what's going on like they have no idea what the sea of quanta is and now you're throwing in the curveball of whatever the fuck the sea of data is <laughs> like <laughs> all these references to the great eruption this that, and the other thing and like you know someone who maybe wanted to come in for just part two for just the mechanics for this that, and the other thing might get turned away from the story <laughs> so they made some really interesting cho choices here they cooked a little too hard in the kitchen that's yeah that i think that perfectly describes that. <laughs> it's like they tried to do too much they tried to you know bring in new players they tried to keep old players they tried to make returners <laughs> interested <laughs> um this meal is not fast food, not easily digestible. That's also real, because I feel like the, um, you know, Genshin play... Oh, this is going to sound so mean, and I don't mean this mean meanly in any way, shape, or form, because I am also a Genshin player. But um, I feel like this might be a little too, like, much for the, for the casual Genshin player, you know? Because um, Genshin does, for a large part... Uh, make the main plot line very obvious <laughs> wow i sound like such an asshole oh no <laughs> i know baby <laughs> but um you know what i mean where it's like you know a home homekires we're, we're kind of used to this level of <laughs> level of of dev bullshit i guess um it's a visual novel. Yeah, yeah. In my case, since I will not play the game and don't care about spoilers, I can look at something about online without having to start every game for every plot. That's so true. And that's a, that's the beauty of, you know, watching someone stream a game is that, like, and this is what I do is, like, um, you know, I love watching people stream games that I personally probably won't ever play or want to play but still want to know the plot of because you know you can watch them stream it and you can like google the parts that you don't really understand without fear of spoilers because you're like ah whatever i'm gonna see it anyway um it seems understandable the game of honkai is deaf complex oh yeah boy it's <laughs> so complex back what i missed welcome back great crown oh we started waxing poetic about hoyoverse and how they <laughs> handled part two <laughs> Plot wise, we met Pretty Blonde Lady and are learning about shadows. <laughs> She's so cute. If he want to do as the Lenkis do, then I won't hold back. As the saying goes, bigger is always better. <laughs> and when it comes to friends, the more the merrier. On a personal level, I'm so glad they didn't water down. Me too. I would have been really disappointed if they had. I think, for me personally, if they had watered down the plot and had so many, um, you know, other game e mechanics, I might have been really disappointed with it. Have I tried skating with Santa? I did! It's so fun! Ah, oh, good night, Violet. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you for the lurk. Is that really how those sayings go? Beats me. But my master is always rattling them off regardless. Who's her master? Who's her master? Is it Vuha? Don't you come chiming him now. What I was going to say was... Mm. 
Let's see. Oh. <sighs> and thanks to these nails, that thank you is still intact today and hasn't been turned into an undersea ruin. So, regular maintenance is crucial. Same, that's all the reason why I clicked the stream. Just because I don't play the same game doesn't mean I can't have fun here. I follow the streamer, not the game, but that's just my way of thinking. No, I so agree. I so agree. Like, my favorite streamers can play literally, like watching paint dry and i'll probably enjoy it just because i you know i i <laughs> i love them so much you know i say they're better whereas some guy there is always an especially itself it has its integrity to a fault <laughs> true 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 even if the own fan base turns against them they'll still be okay back there <laughs> undersea ruin are you referring to the sea of data Oh. Ah, so you're aware of this. As the name Seven Posts of Transfixing Shadows suggests, there are a total of seven nails. For over a hundred years, we've been inspecting them on a daily basis. When we find one that needs maintenance, we summon the artifacts to help. It feels very like Don May. <laughs> but whether it is coincidental or not, you, an outsider who only just arrived, happen to pick up something immensely valuable. Hmm. It's a treasure I borrowed from you earlier. You gave it to us! Oh, I have so many questions. Who, what, what shadow version of you did we see? Dream Seeker is me right now, just. <laughs> Dream Seeker got, got Isekai into a cultivation story. Real. Hahaha. <laughs> <laughs> Long time no see, old friend. This time you'll be with new companions. Is it a very valuable thing? What? What does that mean? <gasps> Perry! Hi, <laughs> Perry. Thank you for the hydrates. Mmm. I'm out of water! Perry, you killed my bottle! Anyways, a minute, maybe even already now, since I hear voices, I will have to go. I will stay as much as possible, though. Aw, thank you, Goku. But you know what? You gotta take care of yourself first, right? <laughs> gotta take care of yourself first, and if you gotta go, no worries about it. Although I do hope I see you again soon. Bottle water. <laughs> Bottle water. <laughs> Bottle of water. Part 2 is like a mashup of all the writers' favorite modern genres taken very seriously. <laughs> I love that. Uh, not really. Rather than calling it an artifact, it's more like an exoskeleton. What is that even mean? Uh, 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 and it used to be my companion helping us take care of this world decades ago, but that led to the depletion of its energy. Yeah, and Sanky was like, you know, the old the old cultivator who reached enlightenment and is now like helping out the <laughs> the new young the new young trainee. So I buried it in the shadows, hoping that one day it would be resurrected and work with us again. And we, the chosen one, happened to find it. Shouldn't we return it to you then? Hmm? It was an important companion to you, wasn't it? We love older women. 
今日はたまたま持ち歩いてないだけだよ。I wonder, oh, I'm super curious now because she said they've been in here for over a hundred years. So I wonder if this place, because of like the nail and everything, has reached a like time stop moment. And so she just like has stopped aging.、Um, but I wonder, or if maybe she's just, she's just old. <laughs> Maybe she's just old.、Um, curious, curious. Haha!、Uh, ha. No, while it is important, I've witnessed hundreds of others just like it. For all these years, I've simply been using whichever one works best. It's just that I don't happen to have one with me right now. Ah. So, then, I'm t a t a t i w a in the finger wag. You've been the monotos to ten eat it on the sonotoki cara. No, you knew a sugar shaka, cutty mo, you look the cotton in other. それはいいことだろう。遠慮はいらないよ。And since fate has bestowed you with your own, then Link, Link, <laughs> Link you has two guardians now. This is a magnificent opportunity, so let's not be modest, okay? Question mark? 待って、よくなところ、<laughs> あなたの代わりに働いてほしいってこと ?Hold on. All this talk just to convince us to run errands for you? You mustn't put it that way. Of course, there will be rewards for your efforts, especially in Lenkyu, where we believe in equivalent exchange. Wait, say it like Lenchio? Langchu? Langchu. Wait, is it Langchu or Langchio? Langchio? Langchu? Langchu. And Songchu, like, Songchue. Songchue. Ah, thank you! Okay, that one's easy to understand. Songchue. Songchue! <laughs> is that right? Did I say that right? Two, oh, so two syllables for each. Oh. Langchio. Langchi. Langchio. Oh, I get it. Like, Langchio. Langchio. Got it. And Songchue. Like that? Langchio. Songchue. Yeah, I think I got it. I got it. Okay. Wait, is that right? Is that right? Yeah, I got a thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you so much. Song. Songchue. Songchue. Langchio. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. I will probably stumble over that again. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Quirrell! Curly Pop! What is this? Oh, so funny. Read! What am I reading? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ah! Although, I do have to wonder. Um, so fucking funny. She is so cute. I love her so much. I knew I knew I was gonna like her. Is that how you do that? Wait. Oh, her idol's so cute. What is you? Ah, okay. It's just like what to do. That's probably what the memories are. Okay, so I, I think I need to end stream because it is getting a little late and I'm really sad because I wanted to get all the way through the first chunk, but I don't think we'll be able to do that tonight. Um, I think, okay, cool. I think I'll just save where it's at. Nice. It's only 9 p.m. Shut up. <laughs> Say you're halfway through Act 1. No! <laughs> no! No! Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Why am I such a yapper? Guys, I'll never get through any game ever because I'm such a, a yapper. <laughs> Aha!、Oh. Okay, now I would officially say you deserve is my last. <gasps> What? I'm your last server? Oh my goodness. Well, I love my Discord and I hope you have fun there too. You can try to think about how to keep your pace moving through the future since the story is long, long. <laughs> or I just do more streams. Ha! <laughs>
<laughs> um, yap, yap, yap. I only do is yap. Um, you can talk about paint drying. I'm leaving. Oh, Red, I love you. Thank you. <laughs> um, I wish the first hour you did was well this whole stream. <laughs> AKA, I'm on a great pace. I'm, I'm setting a great pace. This is fine. <laughs> After entering the story chapter, the individual defaults to the new one and uses the character's location in the background. Oh, that's interesting. The character displayed on the bridge is one being controlled in Oxian will change accordingly. Oh, here you can change the display. Wow, I should your bridge scene. <gasps> that's cool. Okay. Oh, that's really cool. As long as you're having fun and feeling immersed in the story without losing a natural pace, I think everything's fine. Me too. <laughs> Me too. I'm having fun with it. I feel immersed. Oh wait, I think I saw someone say that you could like move the characters while they were here, but I don't know how. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> she's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this little, little simple thing change. Oh, that's crazy. Ah! <laughs> I was emotionally unprepared for that. <laughs> what do you mean? Sorry, you're a yapper. We enjoy your yapping. Oh, I would say when you enjoy the streaming, you enjoy the yapping too. And there's absolutely no way we would not enjoy your stream. Stop, Goku, that's so sweet. Thank you. Please go to the bridge bridge rig because that opens the bridge menu from behind wherever you're standing. <gasps> Cute. Ah, not a hodo, not a hodo. So if I stand here. <laughs> ah, that's so fun. I love it. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Next slot. Thank you for the lurk. Wow. I, I don't know if I'm emotionally ready to give up my old bridge though. Is she What about my friendship points? <laughs> what about my bond levels? <laughs> Reject. <laughs> Reject. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Okay, we're back. Oh, you can get a bond with her because she's a trial character. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's so odd. I cannot wait to get to her in the story. I'm going to lose my actual shit when we do. Do I not have her? No, I don't. That's right. Yeah, because I, I didn't pull for her because I think I read somewhere that she... We get her for free finishing the first one. Um... I hope that's true. I hope I don't regret. <laughs> I hope I don't regret not pulling for her. <laughs> yeah, that's not true. No! Someone, oh no, I got one guide so hard. Someone came onto my stream and was like, yeah, don't worry. You get her for free during, um, during the, the first part of the story. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. I was, oh, I should have looked that up. And Frizzelka, thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> and it is the Hershey of Truth part two. She's the most important character to have for meta reasons. Fuck! <laughs> I was one guy! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh no! I was. Because, like, I was like, oh, it, like, it's crazy she has a banner if we're also getting her for free. And they were like. <laughs> and they were like, yeah, don't worry about it. You'll be fine. <laughs> you get her free motherfucker <laughs> Oh no No oh, Goku that's a really sweet comment Um do I have the Eva skins for Kiana? No one of my biggest regrets in my Honkai Impact Dirt life is um that <laughs> I when the Eva 
also don't hate me for saying this i am not the biggest fan of eva um like i think it's fun whatever uh but when the crossover happened i was really busy with things like in my irl life and i just like didn't make it a priority to get through that event and genuinely one of my biggest regrets of of my honkai impact career is that i looked that event in the eye and i was like not today <laughs> i really said no um what a fool i was but you know what I do have? I have that one. Um, I do really think they should give Sandinia for free. You know what? Me too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Just looking here, because you can put Astro Ops in the main screen too. <gasps> wait, that's awesome! Because I love, I love... Oh wait, shit, I don't have her. Fuck! <laughs> I was gonna say, because I love her. <laughs> I don't have her. I always think of HA3 as maybe taking the ideas from Eva, but taking the tone of story from Gurren Lagan. Ah, <gasps> yeah! Because I know a lot of, you know, they say there's like a lot of Eva inspiration in Honkai 3, but Honkai 3 did it so much better. <laughs> Honkai 3 did it so much better. <laughs> oh, you're so hot. <laughs> Wow, okay, thank you. Um, you watched the Garen Lagan movies in theaters earlier this year, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is a whole guy for the third. Right? Like, the themes of it are so on brand. So on brand. This, this sound, this dorm sound, is so nostalgic to me. I could pinpoint that, that sound anywhere. You mean I remember the worst miscashing agent had an Egan cried about? Oh, no, no, what was it? Um, and Chamber is saying, but for Azulane, I missed a lot having life. Isn't it sad? Like, damn, I'm out here not playing games and doing real life things. <laughs> missing all my gotcha things. Um, yeah, no, because, oh goodness, what battle suit was it of Kiana's that had? Uh, Kiana! Neko punch. Was it? Was it this one? No. Fuck. I never remember which Kiana had like had the Eva skin. Oh, can we even see it anymore? Someone was saying that maybe we can't see it anymore. Was it just like default Kiana? Oh, it was just default Kiana. <laughs> Yeah, I can look how cool she is. But at the time, I was like, ah, it's whatever. I don't need it. I don't need it, but I need it. But I need it. <laughs> whatever. Um. And then did at least get Kaga and Akagi at the same night yesterday. Bro, actually, no. Red, red, red. Not, no cap. No cap. Um. I have been grinding the fox mines for years i've been bitching about it on stream for years and then literally like within the span of three days i got both of them i've been playing since en release like day one player and i still hadn't had them until i think like two months ago and then i got both of them within like three days of each other i i, I was like i don't know what's happening here but i will accept this <laughs> So I am so happy for you. Uh, you know, crown skin, I may have buy it for much more than the game price was. Like, oh, how? How did that happen? I don't have Eva Kiana either. I was too new to know how to get it. Oh, that's so sad. <coughs> that's so sad. My heart weeps for you. Um, and me. And everyone who missed it for whatever reason. <laughs> Uh, did I get Prodigal Girl? It's available now, so yeah, but I'm poor. <laughs> but I'm poor. <laughs> I um, I yeah, I'm always I'm always strapped for strapped for outfit currency in the store because I'm such an impulse buyer. I'm like, oh my god, I just hit I just hit enough to buy one, and then I'll just immediately buy something. Like a fool. <laughs> um, but yeah, I am. 
I am gonna hop off for the evening because it's me, ya boy, I'm tired. <laughs> um, yeah, Astria whale, I could whale, but some sometimes I don't want to whale. Sometimes I will wail, but sometimes I don't want to wail. I was glad to be here for this whole time. I'm looking forward to the rest of the play. Thank you, Marty! I'm so, so happy you could be here. It's so fun having you in chat. You're so knowledgeable and so awesome. Um, so thank you so much. I'm glad I left a good impression on you right away. Oh, of course it did. Are you kidding? This was rad. It was everything I wanted it to be. Um, it dispelled a lot of my worries for what part two might have been. Like, I didn't really talk about it at the start of the stream, but I was concerned. I was concerned. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I was like, what if it's bad? <laughs> what if it's bad? But luckily, it was incredible. It's still... It's still okay. I'm back third. I'm happy. <laughs> Just wait until it starts really honkaiing. <laughs> um Oh, PC, this is um this is actually Mei! Mei Senpai! She's a character from uh Honkai Impact. So the game I was just playing. Um she's great. This is uh her her like final version, her like peak, her peak version. I love her so much. Um, you can rest easy now, thankfully. <laughs> I was so worried. You guys don't even know. Like, this stupid game means so much to me. And, um, I was like, damn, what if part two is bad? <laughs> um, this is just a dream. The real part two is waiting for you when you wake up. Stop. <laughs> I'm just like Dream Seeker. <laughs> Oh, so Nautica next. Yes, it was a redeem. So uh, Lone Wolf actually redeemed the um, Pick My Game channel point redeem and uh, chose some Nautica. Um, but it isn't a game I've actually had like lurking in my Steam library um, <laughs> for a while. And so honestly, I'm kind of just like glad that I have an excuse to play. <laughs> I'm so excited for the day you finally catch up. Yeah, check back in in another like two months and we'll get there. <laughs> If I just stop yapping. Um, no, I think I'm going to try to like have at least one, one, one Honkai stream a week until I can catch up with the story. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Waddles. You're the bestest. You're the bestest. Uh, imagine how funny it is to uh, spread the game in by the... Oh, yeah. I read, <laughs> I read your earlier message, you poor thing. <laughs> You poor thing. I know, I need to get a yapping emote. Oh, man. <laughs> it's like me with my fucking tearless stream the other night. <sighs> oh well. <laughs> um, yeah, and no no raid tonight. Cause that, well, actually, let's see. Let's see if anyone else is playing Honkai Impact. Go, go spread the love. Go spread the love. I'm just gonna hop off because I really just kind of want to go to bed. But um, thank you guys so much for being here. You guys are so awesome. Tonight was so fun. I can't wait to make you guys experience more of this with me. It's gonna be such a good time. Y'all are going to get as into this as I am. <laughs> and then you'll download it and you'll play part one and then we can all be in Honkai Impact Hell together. You're welcome. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much and I wish you guys the most wonderful evening and the sweetest of dreams. And I'll see you on Thursday. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Bye.